So we're, hey, meeting, we're calling this meeting to order. Sharon left her keys in the car and they got cold and now her car won't start, so she's having to warm up the battery in the key fob. Jeez. I don't know, electronics. Yeah, modern miracles. Yeah. And Craig. And Craig. So um, you, you, called, you called, called the meeting to order, changes, additions to the agenda. Okay, I move that we go into executive session for personnel. Okay, yes. Pursuant to 1 VSA 313A3. I'll second it. And would we like to invite um, an applicant for the treasurer business manager position to join us? Okay. So it, it, I, I accept that as a friendly amendment to my motion. Okay. <coughs> okay. <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay. So, so here we are. Yeah, we're ready to go. Okay, so we came out of executive session and we're getting ready to come um, back into and we're and we're coming back into our regular session. We went into executive session under one VSA three thirteen A three, which is the provision of state statute that relates to appointing uh, or employing a public officer or or employee. Uh, I am ready to accept a motion to take actions consistent with discussion in executive session. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any other comments, questions? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Okay, can I just, I just want to make a statement mm -hmm. straight off the bat here. We don't have a recording secretary. Yes. So, if I'm taking notes. Yes, we need to slow down. You need, when we do the motions, I need it to, I'm not going to take, the I just want you to know I'm not taking the detailed notes like we used to have because I cannot do that and participate. only what is required by law. Yeah. Right. So right. I will take some. I'll make some comments if I can remember. Um, no, so well, you got you to slow down the, the motion. Okay. So that that is a comment really for everybody and for the board. Take your own notes. What we had before was somebody who took notes, not minutes. Um, moving forward, we're going to have minutes. This item discussed, voted, tabled. You're not going to get notes. <laughs> so the the camera is on. So that's the notes. And Denise, I you need it, motions. If, if you need us to slow down and repeat the motion, then yeah. then just let us know that we need to do that. Okay. Um, is anybody? Uh, I would make a motion to approve the consent agenda, minus the minutes. I've looked at most of them, but I haven't had a chance to look at all of them, and I don't think everybody's had a chance to look at all of them. That's correct. So I would like to defer the minutes to the next meeting. So that leaves uh, for the consent agenda reappointing Ryan Edwards for a three-year term in the DRB. Reappointing Ann Winchester as 911 E911 coordinator and reappointing Thomas Jared Thomas, Jared Thomas as uh, or one year term on CB Fiber. Okay, and I made the motion. Did somebody yeah. second it? I didn't hear Sorry. anybody. Okay, second. You second it. Rick. Rick okay. second. Okay. okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Um, Denise, personnel update. Um, sure. Okay. So. Um, in addition to the person that we just interviewed, I did have another email from somebody else, but they didn't attach a resume. Um, so I've asked him for a resume. Haven't heard. Haven't heard back. Okay. I'm sorry, um, I'm sorry we're, we're, we're talking about what position? I the treasurer or business manager. Okay. What did, what did you say about it? I got a, another email from somebody interested in the position, but he did not attach a resume, so I've asked him for a resume. Thank you. Um, we had, I've reposted the DPW ad in seven days, the Times Argus, the Hardwick Gazette, Vermont League of Cities and Towns, their online um, form that you do. So if you can think of anything else, I'll, I'll post it on Front Porch Forum. Denise is also checking. <clears throat> we talked about this. Denise is checking with the town of Middle of um, Berlin, mm -hmm. which hired a they DPW. Just, uh, they just hired a DPW position. There were four applicants. They picked one, so it makes me think. Well, 
Yeah, maybe they had somebody that was like their second choice or something. So we'll check. So, so we're going to check with Town of Berlin. Um, what What else could you want to know? I'm trying to think if there's something else. Um, we, we have the open position spreadsheet and... I had a couple of people that I talked to. Mm -hmm. um, Rob Richards, back living in Callis on Max Gray Road. I asked him about being Weyer of Coal. Um, so I asked Steve Owens about Planning Commission or some other empty slots. Um, I'm not sure when we're going to re-up the Roads Advisory Committee. I don't think that's ripe yet to talk about people that might be interested. Um, we had an email from David Daniel Kenny doing the swim program, and he does no longer want to be chair of that committee, um, and that's a town appointed committee. It's a one year term, so we. That's an open. That's, that's an open opening. now. And. And did you say that Barbara's going is is going to post it on the town website? Yeah, you said you were going to post if I. I had asked you. To I told you I wanted to talk to you about it. I had some recommendations, just not from your tracking sheet. Oh, that, okay. But the, to post it to the website. Okay. Can we? Maybe we can catch up tomorrow. That would be wonderful. Okay. Be Great. Thank that. you so much. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so that's about it on um, that. We're just trying to continue to recruit to fill in some of the slots. I mean, obviously, swim committee doesn't really need to do much until it's swim season. Wait. Be ready. Isn't that tomorrow? Oh, well, you can if you want. For a plunge. Polar bear. Oh, Polar bear. Right. Okay. Um, anything else? Um, mm -mm. Personal? Not unless somebody has a question that I forgot to update. No? Um, I do love the idea of getting that on the website, though. The, the active opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That will be helpful. <clears throat> okay. I don't have... Is that clock working again? Yes, it is. It is. Yeah, yeah. And that one's working too. Okay. Go on, I can't but see. But that's accurate. So we're on the vast. Yeah. Um, well, public comment. Oh, public comment. Right. Is there anybody here for public comment on items not on the agenda? I, no. Oh. Yeah, two. Yes, two. Two. Great. Um, we have a few minutes for public comment. You want to come yeah. forward? Craig? Sorry, I, I also did three. Okay, three. All right, so um, why don't we start with the woman? Can you come forward and join us so that Marge. we can, Marge? I'm Marge Sweeney. Come, come, come up and join us here at the table, please, Marge. Actually, uh, and I'm John Rosenblum, who's going to, we're going to speak together. Yeah. And you can both come forward. For the Curtis Plan Association concerning the dam project. What dam is that? The dam project. The dam project. The dam dam. <laughs> Um, couple, a couple of things. You want to maybe take off your mask just for sure. speaking? Yeah. And John and Mark, are you re? I'm. I'm there's not no action, but no I action. would recuse myself. Okay. Yes. <laughs> just for clear for the yeah. camera yeah. and the audience. Yeah. Thank go, you. go ahead. I will. I will. You know. I do kind of keep an eye on my. We have about 15 minutes for public comment, and somebody else wants to speak. Well, if you right. could just be mindful okay. of that. And we'll try to be short. Great. Concise. Thank you. Um, we um, one one of the things uh, of course we are an anxious of the state of the dam and we're trying to we would like the, uh, to reach the goal of being able to uh, get it fixed next summer. That's kind of what, even though that's ambitious and we're trying to reach that uh, goal. And um, so uh, one of the things that that um, I do want to just give you a quick update on the the engineer. Uh, they, um, Jeff Tucker said he could come and do a presentation for you on the 19th of December if that would work for you guys. And I wanted, I wanted to give him. He's Dubois County, right? Dubois County. He's the president, I guess, of Dubois County. Yeah. How long would you want him to speak? We have. Where's my December? Oh, I don't have a December 19th. Oh, no, um, December 12th, December 19th right. is not. December 19th, we are having a regular meeting Meeting because we're not meeting a regular meeting on the 26th, FYI. Yeah, we're not meeting um, the day after Christmas. No. Oh, I had actually gotten the dates and I offered 
you know, because he, they're, he's expecting to have everything. He's got 90% of the plans and the how how yes. long? Let me ask the question opposite, March. How long? In a perfect world, if you could wave a magic wand, how long would you ask for on the agenda? Which I, which is not a promise. It's it's a. Yeah. Give, to what would you like? Money. Yeah. Yeah. I could ask him how long he would feel it would be required, but um, you know, I think he's going to be presenting this stuff in paper. It was more maybe questions just to make sure he's got it all. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, a minimum, I would think 15 minutes. Um, I was thinking, know, I was be, thinking. Could be all day. I mean, right. How, I'm going yeah. to, I'm going to, I'm penciling with my pen, 20 minutes. Okay. Um, and I'll get back to them. And if that night works for you guys too. And do you even want to come and do a presentation? We're, we're just... going to be here that night. Right. So it's a regular meeting, not, not okay. a, on our regular meeting diet. So it's not a special well, meeting, but it's a special it's meeting. A special it's meeting. A regular second or fourth. It's a special meeting that will, in every other way, look like a regular meeting. Right. And, it's, that sense? and it's not for you to, it would be. To, Provide information. Mm -hmm. to so it's right. an informational presentation. Right. And, it's, and he's also going to be, he's going to be prepared to speak to all the status on the permits. And, and there are a couple of permits that will need more okay. the signatures about the CBA and the, okay. and the town. I'll give you that information. If, if you okay. could get us, I mean, not a, not a book, but, you know, some. A document. Yeah, something concise. To, I'm not really sure. To look at it in advance, that's. Okay. Really helpful, right? And, and if there's permits, we probably don't want to have a good understanding of what they are. So maybe we can get like a blank copy just to look at ahead of time. Okay. And then the other question is, do you feel comfortable if you wanted to wait to the beginning of January to do it in that meeting? I would rather, you know, he's talked that it should be done by the end no, of the year. I, I would rather just do it on the 19th. Okay. The, the beginning of January, we're going to be doing crunch time. Yeah. With budget yeah. and morning and all that stuff. Also, you might want to attend to there with an action item if you have to sign permits. Are you going to be looking for, for us to approve permits at night? I don't. Um, Could you ask The Jeff? earlier we can get the permits in, the better. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not 100% sure that. Uh, I, that could be. And then we would need to get you, it, uh, get you them ahead of time so you could. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you could. So that. If we could have them by the by the, even by the meeting on the twelfth, so by that the 12th. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. If that there are any that you need, so that if there are any that you need, we need to get signed, have them to us by the twelfth, and mm -hmm. then you'll be here for the nineteenth. Yeah, that sounds for good. follow up questions. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay. Okay. And the other thing that um, we. We wanted you to calendar um, the bond question um, potentially for your next meeting, um, so that we we're, we're getting a little anxious about getting to the finish line, to the deadline for the and concerns about making sure that there are no issues for that. So right? yeah, but, so, so Bob Fletcher said that he would have something for us for the meeting on the twelfth. On the twelfth. Bob Fletcher is the town attorney handling this matter. <laughs> and uh, we have been, exp and we've been exploring maybe retaining outside by council because we were concerned about the, the timing of the, uh, whether we have an answer. An answer. Yeah. yeah. And he assured us, he's he talked to John, I talked to him, um, and he said he'd have something to us by the 12th. Okay. But, but at the end of the day, Mark, just to be clear, we need to have the council that works for us. That's right. Yes. Right. And is contracted with us. Uh, totally you, you could bring in a hundred experts that could disagree with our attorney, and likely, well, obviously our attorney would hear them out, but uh, likely we would go with our attorney or ask our attorney right. to right. address the differences. So. And uh, so we have been thinking about doing outside counsel, and we'll have to just to be to be safe, trying to come up with all the different potential issues if, if there's issues with, with not being able to go to bond, whether yeah. we needed a second opinion on, on that. And yes, we, then it would, the timing would be such that we wouldn't be able to, yeah. to do that. Yeah. Um, 
But I mean, still, I mean, if we, if we had a disagreement right. with your yeah. counsel, that it, it's, I don't right. see it getting resolved if it's substantial. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, right. it's not, no, it's, to me, it's not so much shopping for yes. It's about getting a solid. Well, and as Bob explained to me, I'm sorry, you done? Yeah. If, as yeah. Bob explained to me, whatever bond item goes on the town meeting warning, if it gets approved, then that item goes to the municipal bond bank, and then it goes to some bond place in Boston. So what he writes and what he says and what he does has to be right. And he's making sure that he covers all the bases, does all the research. Representing the town. Representing the town. Representing the town's interests. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and like I said, we're, we're anxious. I showed you the, the picture last yeah. Time I yeah. spoke. Yeah. You know, and so it's all out of you know, trying to get that. <laughs> but you know, town meeting is not. I mean, it's preferred, but it's not essential. Mm -hmm. We can have this as a separate vote. Mm -hmm. um, I think the fire department. When we did the fire department, department, they were separate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and we and 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 the the question is for being the what we're talking about is a warning. A bond item on the agenda for town meeting. The warning. The warning, and we have a we have until the January twenty third. Yeah, the January you know yeah. second. At the, not that we want to wait that long, of course, but getting the getting the warning item on the agenda is a matter of this board, and we can hold special meetings to make that happen. The, it it is reasons, fully it is fully on Bob's radar. Yeah, yeah. he's the, on it. The, re, one of the things you should know is that there's a certain inflexibility in that either the work begins in August, which means we prepare for the work in the summer, or we lose a year. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But so, still, but the, but the time for the vote is still March. Yeah, I'm just saying. Ish. When you right. think about well, some vote right. or another vote, or right? Well, right. And the, you know, and there's no guarantee. Even if it goes on the warning, when we did the fire department, it got shot down the first right. time. Right. right. And we, you know, not not to say that it would, and I hope it wouldn't, mm -hmm. but you know, we have to be prepared for that too. And what's Plan B? Right. But I, that we can worry about later. Let's I, just do Plan A. I think we need to wrap up and let Craig speak. Sarah, so yeah, can I say something? Uh, John is going to speak as well. Okay, the two of us. So, so um, first of all, I'd like to thank you all for serving. I'm on a couple boards, and I, and I know this is probably the hardest board in town. So, so uh, thanks so much. And I know thank it's you. Your volunteers, I appreciate it. <coughs> I'm on the, <coughs> on the board of the Maple Corner Community Store. I'm actually the president, although that holds no particular power. Um, so it's basically like the Monty Python thing of, of, uh, of who's volunteers and everyone step back, except for me. Um, but <laughs> what I wanted to say is the Maple Corner Store, as all our shareholders know, uh, loses money, is, is currently funded through the largesse of pandemic money. Um, and we're hope we were very hopeful that we can turn it around and get the store to make enough money to break even. Um, within you know the time that we have, uh, which is a couple years of funding, um, the store can't afford flood insurance. If the dam flooded the store, uh, probably knock us out. Um, besides that, if the dam was drawn down by the state, which is probably one of the more likely um, scenarios, that the state will show up with a excavator and and draw the and pull the dam down. Uh, they don't, I don't think that they have to think they have to warn you guys. I think they can just do it um, whenever they want because their job is to protect public, uh, the public and public um, roads and things like that. Maple Corner Store would not survive without Curtis Pond. Uh, we get much more revenue in the summer when people are boating and swimming on the pond than uh, when, <coughs> when, they're, when no one's in the winter this time of year is our slow season. We're very seasonal business. We lose money for sure. We'll always lose money in the winter. Without Curtis Pond, we lose money in the summer as well. Um, so we depend on the pond. Uh, if you look at most real estate ads in this neighborhood, 
They will talk about how they're, they're in the location near Maple Corner Store and the Whammy Bar. That's obviously affecting real estate values around here. It's obviously affecting the real estate value of my house and, and others around. So it's not just the pond no, and the houses on the pond, but Maple Corner Store will disappear without the pond. So without Curtis Pond. So I just wanted to let you guys know the ramifications. We're watching. You know, the board is aware that that we depend upon the pond to survive. So I just wanted to let you know that, that that's quite important to I think to Callis. I mean, and uh, to all the share all the um, taxpayers of Callis will suffer if if the Maple Corner store is gone, if the pond is gone. So. Thank you, John. Okay, thank you, John. And I have one last quick thing. We wanted to increase our request for the ARPA uh, funding. Um, Jamie Morby was supposed to be here to sign the letter, too. Would you like me to wait for Jamie to sign it, or just is my signature good enough? Yes. Yeah. Go ahead and sign it. Any I, citizen can make yeah, a request. Yeah, you need to sign it. Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, and I'll just hand that. I'm doing it with ARPA. I guess Mark must have got my spreadsheet, <laughs> although he doesn't say it. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Craig. Thank you. Thank you. It's been quite some time since I've been able to attend, um, and I've been one watching them from the eaves, <laughs> and it's, it's been distressing. And I know each of you personally for a long time. And I wanted, I was planning to thank you, as John just did. I've served on lots of different boards and different organizations in here in town, and a number. Um, I'm just finishing up my ninth and final year as the Kelly Hubbard yeah, uh, trustee. Thank you. Well, thank you. it's been a joy. <laughs> And uh, I, I'm really going to miss your passion events <laughs> at town meeting, and, and I particularly miss it when it provoked certain counterattacks. You know, I mean, really. I, and, I, I don't of, know how I'm going to live without a, that. A lot of errors in my quiver. Yeah. All right. He'll still be there, Mark. And in your back. Just because he's not doing the library doesn't mean he's not going to come to town meeting. Yeah, that's right. And so, anyway, um, I, when I was first asked to join the Kelly Cover Board, my first question to Michael Katzenberg, who had called me, who was then the middle sex rep, who, who founded Bear Pond Books. And, um, and I said, well, is it a functional group? Because I've been on boards that were not essentially functional, and I couldn't do it, and I had to resign. And, and so I've, been, I've not been attending. I have not witnessed others' input. And, and yet what I've thought, what I've seen from afar has been distressing and it seemed dysfunctional. And so I just, I want to ask you five, do you think it's working? And, you know, have you, have you found your footing? Because it seemed for a while that you were mired in the muck. And um, again, I've, I've not been here, but if if there was or, or were things that were making it difficult, have you found a way to address them, or do you think there's a need to call in an outside assistant, someone to work with the group to say, well, maybe maybe this is getting our way or that or is it a procedural thing? Um, there was a lot of talk over the past six months about the lack of, um, uh, not visibility. What's transparency. The word? Yeah, transparency, thank you. Um, and so I, I, I have no specific critical comments, more concern. And I've been wanting to say something like this for a while, haven't been able to come. Fortunately, we were put on the agenda, so here I am. <laughs> so thank you for listening. Thank you. Um, thank you. And thank you, really. Thank you for your yeah. service on Kellogg Hubbard Library. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. We had, um, at the last meeting, if you have a chance to watch the ORCA 
conversation. There was some, we had a, a longer period of public comment. We had some conversation with folks in the public. Um, I, I do want to move on to other agenda yes. items, but I, I'm going to I'm going to just look at my colleagues and ask. I, I'm going to presume to respond on behalf of the board if that's okay. I think that we think we we actually really function very well as a board. <laughs> believe it or not, it's been very hard. Mm -hmm. um, we're in hard times. It's hard to hire. We do need help. Um, we interviewed a candidate for some of the help we need earlier tonight. Um, we've interviewed before and it hasn't worked out, but I personally, speaking now just for myself, I feel good about how this board functions as a group. So I'm glad you asked that's the question about how we feel because I'm going to respond to it. Yeah, that's, that's good to hear. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a hard environment, but I mean, we work, I mean, we work, would, we work together add, well. I would add too, I mean this board has actually taken on a number of issues mm -hmm. that have been pushed off for a long time and they're divisive somewhat. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. but they need some of these things really need to happen mm -hmm. for this town to get to move forward. So it's you know it makes for some hard times. I would agree with Sharon. We've done very very well as a group, and you know the public. I mean it's it's not everybody is here in these meetings all the time. They don't really know what goes on in all of these discussions. Mm -hmm. Sometimes information that's not accurate gets out there quite that's, often. That's the worst. Sometimes culprit. it gets. Well, but you know, the reality is people show up and they begin to, we try as best we can to leave, you know, to kind of bring them up to speed on what we're doing. You know, and in the end, I think, you know, things are moving forward. Yeah. Well, yeah. we've been, you know, we've got our challenges between COVID and there have been a lot yeah. of things that have hit us that were. <clears throat> Certainly, they might look like dysfunctionality. They were not. They're a function of the time we're in, you know. But I think mm -hmm. the board's bringing some things forward that are going to be a real benefit to the town. Well, certainly, you know, procedurally, it seems that many people airing their views on front porch forum didn't really understand what mm -hmm. executive session is, mm -hmm. and and I thought, I mean, could one of the select board members say, well, actually? Look at this part of Vermont statutes, and it lays out very clearly. Yeah, I, I think that's exactly. We did kind of have a period, like you just said, where there's a lot of front porch forum discussion. Yeah, and we made room here several times for public comment, and people did come. Yeah, yeah. and, and I, the discussion turn. here, by and large, was I thought much more productive. And the yeah. discussion on yeah. the Ports Forum. Yeah. And we're not perfect by any means. And we heard, I think, really thoughtful, measured, positive suggestions about what we might do to improve. And we're, we're working on it. Yeah, yeah uh, I mean, you might. So I felt, I feel like, in a lot of ways, it's, it's, it's wonderful when people actually get in the room. Yes. It's just very different. Um, very different than, and of course, front porch because forum. part of it is, of course, yeah. we get, there's a back and forth. Whereas front porch forum, yeah, we're, not right. gonna, we're not going to. And that's how a lot of misinformation got disseminated because I don't think people did it intentionally. They just didn't know. They didn't understand the whole picture. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes, you know, you say something and you don't have all sides of the story, and then you find out. And I think some people that have been here have realized and learned that there's more to this story and they're like mm -hmm. oh you know that's what i've seen and some yeah. people just yeah. kind of like oh now i get it yeah. mm -hmm. and I mean, we we cut we've made a decision as a board and i went back and looked i think it was in january that we're front porch forum was not going to be our, our social media you know front porch forum twitter all those kinds of things are social media and they often can lead to things being worse or people saying things they wouldn't normally say to your face you know it's easy to type something up and hit send yeah. but it's a lot harder to sit here like you are yeah, yeah. and having mm -hmm. a conversation well, I've, and I've done that quite a number of times I just thought back to being in this room with a room full of Cala citizens with Alfie answering to the fact that there were 90 or 100 trees marked for cutting yep. mm -hmm. on the Adamant Road right. and people rose up and said, whoa, 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 wait a minute. And, mm -hmm. yep. and then the Roads Committee was reinvigorated and right. I remember saying, okay, you know what? It's put up or shut up and and I'm going to 
put up my hand and I'm going to say yes, I'll volunteer to be on that committee. And that's what right. we're going to be. We're going to be. We're going to be. We're going to be, we're gonna be <laughs> revitalizing it, Craig. I'll put your name right. Craig, at the top. I'm going to. I'm going to thank you very much. Let's. Yeah, let's thank uh, you. Thank yeah. You. But thanks for the response. Thank yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank let's you. Uh, move our meeting along to the next topic. Steve, you're next. Come on up and join us. How are you, Steve? Hi, Steve. So I'm going to ask you, this is a, a direct, directly coming out of the conversation or some of the input from the last meeting. Um, um, and we, we, we say we're going to do this, and that's one of the things that we drift from. If you were to articulate for us the motion you're asking us to make, Tell me right now what that motion is, so we all know where we're headed in this conversation. Okay. Uh, first, let me just explain my request. That's it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and then you can do what you need to do in the motion. Uh, the request is annually uh, in this town. It's mm -hmm. done differently in a lot of towns around the state, mm -hmm. but we've always come to the select board annually to ask for certain roads to be opened legally, which is required by state law, mm -hmm. for the use by the snowmobile members who are actual members, registered legal members of the Vermont Association of Snow Travelers. We do it on behalf of the local club, which is the Callis Woodbury Mountain Tables. We cover two towns. So I've done it in Woodbury, and I do it here annually. And it gives you the opportunity to ask questions, to see talk to me, whatever you need to do. Um, but basically, it's a uh, governmental function that you simply need to, if you choose, to approve the use of certain highways, as listed on that list, mm -hmm. uh, in the town of Callis for legal snowmobile riding. Okay. And so it's only from December 16th until April 15th. That's the designated season for snowmobiling. Okay, so, so I'm going to ask, I think Denise has it. Denise, yeah. maybe you'd like to lay out, would a motion, set out what the motion would, would be. A, what, would a motion look like, um, I move to approve the Mountain Tamers um, request for use of that vast trails from, the, from December, what did you say, 16th? It's December 16th through April 15th. Is, uh, is the December 16th through April and that if there are any issues that arise on the trails that the Mountain Tamers group will address those. Uh, uh, sure. But it's, it's road, but it's town roads. Well, it's town roads. It's, yes, it's, right. it's, it's, it's town roads, not town trails. Roads that we're talking right. about. Right, right. 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 So well, you have we to cross over. We property owners for everything right. else. So we, are, so we are approving the use of the use of those, town so roads. The listed so, roads so, as snow machine trails. Um, as listed in this letter. As listed in the November 12, 2022 letter from Stephen Gray, trail master of the Mountain Tamers Snowmobile Club to the select board. Okay, so do we so, want to list all the roads in the motion? Well, what, can we just, re wait, can we just refer back to the... Uh, we December can, I just, I'm just asking the question of how we want to articulate a motion. So, okay. so the motion is, the motion is to approve uh, the, annual the list. A certain, a, a certain use by the Vermont Association of Snow Travels local club, the Mountain Tamers, Mountain Tamers um, of use of certain ro town roads for snowmobile travel from December 16th through April 5th. April 5th. Okay, is there a April, motion? April 15th. 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 So moved. Is there okay. a second? Okay, I just want to make. <laughs> to be clear in the motion that we're approving the annual vast trail request of the mountain tamers to use the town roads as noted in the November 12th. I, I wouldn't put vast in there. No vast? Okay. I, no, the vast is the parent organization. Okay, so it would be the mountain tamers. Some clubs that do something similar to this. They end up being a trail used by, but I, I might point out on that list there are seven designated roads, but only two of them are for main trails. The others are for 
personal access to somebody's house who can't get onto the trail that long down the edge right. of the road to get there. Right. So we've got little segments and five of those are for that. The other is only two. So I would just say the request by the local snowmobile club okay. so the, for the, uses of trail, yeah. that, that'll cover it. That, okay. and, it's, and, and you're crossing the road, you're not... It's driving. Well, running along. No, it's, it's using the road. It's it using the road. Some of them are running along. Like the road. Road. Okay, I think I, I, think I got it written down. Oh, okay. And, and the trail, the road. Okay. So we we have the, little, technically yeah. we have the legal right to cross public highway. Okay. And it's close to the right angle as possible. But if we have to use the plowed portion of the road. Okay. Then we have to have the select board in there. And John just pointed to an example on on Singleton Road. So the trail crossing between his house and the trail crossing, which is, you know, no. some chunk of road, but not miles and miles. Yeah. No. Yeah. So okay. can I ask a question too? Sure. I mean, that would be subject to safe use of that hey, road. Hey, actually, hang on. Now we're going to. We're, can we get okay. a second? Okay. I think I got. It, I think I got it written down. Oh, I'm correctly. sorry. So yeah. I made the motion. You made the motion. Is there a second? I was. Okay. Oh, okay. Mark seconded. Mark seconded. Mark seconded. Okay. All right. Now Rick has. Yeah. Motion. No. The the question I have is that safe use of that road and, and what constraints are on those. We don't want people driving 90 miles an hour on No. Or, you know, that's the... That's, I mean, these let's are, presume that it's going to be used safely. If it isn't, someone mentioned, we, we want to know about it as much as we'll, you. We'll hear yeah. about it and then you will. Yes, you will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And are there, and Steve, did you make changes over what people have experienced in the past? You said there were a couple changes. No, no the only difference between this list and last year, quite a few years before that, Last year we had a, an additional request for a small piece of Long Meadow Hill Road because of a logging operation. Okay. And we had a tenth of a mile. We asked for a tenth of a mile open there to get around the log landing because the logger didn't want us going into the landing. Okay. You approved that last year. We don't need that. Okay. Year. So, not okay. so no. other than that, there's no people's general experience in the past is what you're asking for that's this correct. year. Well, okay, that's, that's useful. Less, basically, the list we've used for quite a few years. Great. So do we have a no, we have not voted. No, okay. just, any other questions? Any other clarifications you want to offer us? Just, uh, if there is a problem, we want to know about it as quickly as you do. Mm -hmm. And I think this, there's a statement on that request that yeah, they have a problem with the yep. normal road crossings, which are legal anyways, uh, with the trail going across, then in the road foreman or whoever has problems with that, let us know. We'll, we'll try to deal with it. Yeah, you're very good about that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. All right. and, and the Leonard Road stretch is holding up well since we've pent yes, it we some years ago. Yes, we Okay. We may be moving that, but that's all. You might be what? Moving it. Really? Okay. okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 John? Aye. Aye. Everybody voting in favor. Got it. Okay. Steve, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Do you got everything you need? Okay. Time went to town meeting. Barbara, do you want to join us for this one? Yeah, we do. Sure, you're the keeper of the timeline. You're, okay. you're the keeper of Thank the you castle. for being the keeper of the timeline. Oh, certainly. <laughs> we, uh, we've I'm already like started working on, our, on the budget. You're aware of that, right? I'm sorry, say that again. You're aware that we've already started on the budget. Yes, uh-huh. And we've um, pulled out our select board report from last year okay. to make sure we're on top of that. Okay. And we're meeting again for the budget on Saturday. On Saturday, this Saturday at <laughs> 10 a.m. Right, we met. Not you, not Mark, we everybody met else. Two weeks ago on Saturday. Um, we yeah, have been two weeks ago. Right, right. Yeah, because we had Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank you. I love all the color coding. Okay. It makes it really easy. Yep. Yep. I've used okay. it this done it this way the last few years. It's really become kind of a turnkey yep. operation for us out of the town office, uh, and this works for us. Anything um, in particular we need to decide, but we didn't warn this. We can talk about in person. Um, we don't have any action items. Well, before we switch, switch to just a conversation about that, Barbara, is there anything in, in particular you want to highlight or underscore mm -hmm. any changes we need to have our, um, I don't, our let's see, I don't think focus so. on? Um, so this is information only, and what you have on tonight's agenda is in-person 
or Zoom informational. So is that what you guys are going to talk about tonight? Yeah, I wanted to talk about. We'll just talk yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. We don't have to decide tonight, but right, we'll have a conversation. And I, I suppose the main consideration is how COVID and RSV is. Well, and that's what I wanted to bring up. I, as you know, I'm on the board of directors at the health center in Plainfield. Yeah. And at our meeting last, just before Thanksgiving, you know, he gives us an update on COVID and all these other, Dr. Dr. Matthew, Dr. Yeah. Matthew, mm -hmm. of everything that's going on around us. And I asked him, I said, you know, in your opinion, where do you think we're going to be at this winter with, you know, flu, flu that's going to be a lot worse, COVID, now this RSV virus that used to be just mainly kids got it, now adults yeah. are getting it. Yeah. He's very concerned. Yeah. He's very concerned that over the winter, there's going to be a huge uptick. He doesn't think that all the reporting is being done. You know, people aren't necessarily reporting when they have COVID. Yeah. You know, so he, he's very, very cautious. Because I asked him about town meeting. I said, you know, we're going to be planning for that. He goes, in person. Mm. Yeah, uh, and as you know, I work at the COVID vaccination clinic. I've worked there the last almost two years, and mm -hmm. we're seeing lots of reports of not only an uptake of COVID, but RSV. It's mm -hmm. just really, really taking hold. Can a someone explain to me what RSV is? I, I it's a, it's a respiratory. It, it used to pr primarily affect preemies. I can remember when my grandchildren were preemies. They'd have to get RSV shots for two months in a row uh, to to prevent from getting this respiratory disease. And it used to just be usually babies and young, very young children. Mm -hmm. Over the past six months, it's become very predominant. And you'll see, you've been, we've been seeing it on the news with adults, with older children, teens, adolescents, young adults, and old adults. And, and hospitalizations are skyrocketing. So it's with, a lung thing? Yes, yeah. a mm -hmm. respiratory disease that is not COVID. Hospitals are at capacity. Hospitals are at capacity, I've heard and that. a lot yeah. of it is this RSV. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. And it's very high, it's highly contagious. It is completely separate and apart from COVID, other than the fact they're both respiratory illnesses. Does it do the damage that that earlier first COVID variant did to lungs? Oh, the Delta? Yeah. Yeah. The Delta that was so bad. I don't. I don't know. I'm not a clinician, so I don't know know all those details. But but we're concerned. We at the town office are also concerned about this winter mm -hmm. and both COVID as well as RSV yeah. as well as flu. Right. Because people were flu was way down the last two years because we were all wearing masks. I was gonna say we were all wearing and well, gee, and being careful that made sense, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. And so now. You know, most of us are not wearing masks now, so flu is going to be raging back again. Right. Well, so, it already is, I think. So I know that that we would be very comfortable as the town office running the election part of town meeting with it being the way we've done it during the COVID years, being an informational meeting. We'll still hold the in-person election. The, the Board of Civil Authority yeah. has already voted to hold that at the school. Yes. We would change that. If the select board, because you guys decide when and where town meeting will be, if you decided to move town meeting, I'm sure the BCA Zoom. would move the election site to follow. So you mean if we we did it by Zoom, then we would do ballot? We would here. still we would still be having an in. We still have to hold an in person polling place. Right, right. And but so we, would, would be, we would move it from the school to maybe here. You mean? I suppose that's a possibility, but maybe not. So why would we well, move the school say, like close? Well, the schools that's the school schools are closed anyway. Right. They they close that week. The, oh, the, the school the has better access for parking, for getting in and out, than the bigger building does. For an in-person. Yeah, what I, yeah, what I heard you suggesting is that we could do an in-person town meeting. I'm not suggesting, but we the could vote. we could have but the vote, but could we have town meeting? We, we went through this two years ago. Right, so we, we've done this two years in a row, had this kind of similar discussion. Mm -hmm. I think we were all feeling like maybe this year might we be We were going to be year, safe. But it's... But you know, when we thought that, RSV hadn't yet. yet. Right. So it's really, it's the select board's call, but I, I can speak on behalf of the town office that we would be very comfortable moving ahead with the way we've done it during the COVID years with an informational session. Yeah. So I just want to understand. One issue is how do we hold the informational session? No, we hold what? The informational well, session. Well, we did it 
before no. on Zoom. On Zoom. Well, it was on right. Saturday morning at right. Zoom. Right. So but but it's not it's not how to hold the informational session. It's whether to hold an informational session separate and apart and in lieu of a regular town meeting. Which because if we do an informational session session, then all voting is Australian. Right. Whereas if we do town meeting it's on the floor. It, everything <coughs> well not everything, but most of the votes are on the floor. I think not a, Australian. Yeah, I think a lot of people might be hesitant to come to in person town meeting, you know, especially if we have a spike that not just Dr. Yeah. Matthew, but other people are predicting. All you gotta yeah. do is watch the news. So we have on the timeline for January 9th for the select board to make this determination. Okay. Um, and it really must be made by the 23rd because that's when you sign the warning. And right. Okay. By, by state statute, that's the warning. That's the last, That's when you need to sign the warning and you have to have decided about town meeting the time for it to be in the warning. So really sooner rather than later. Yeah, January 9th is really, is when I put it on the timeline for you guys to decide. So you still have another month. Right, right. right. Well, or more. We have, I'm going to repeat just so we all get it in our heads. We're meeting on the 12th in a regular meeting. Mm -hmm. We're meeting on the 19th in a special meeting. In lieu of. In lieu of a meeting on the 26th. So the meeting yeah. on the 19th is special. Other than that, it's regular. Okay. Special in its timing. Yeah. And then we won't meet again in a regular meeting until the 9th yep. of January. Of January. Right. So. 19th we should do. We also. have two more meetings. We have three more, but um, I think it, you know, we put it, we, we're putting the question out there. All right, that's why I'm raising the issue now, yep. so we have time to think about it, yeah. talk people, about it, digest let it. Let people call us, tell us yeah. what they think. We're yeah. likely not going to decide until the, the very day of the 9th. What? Know, we, in terms of the health implications. Oh, well, we could decide before. Oh, okay. We could just decide. Well, we could decide. We, we could, we, <laughs> I said we could make a decision. Mm -hmm. We could make a decision we can make, way before the 9th. Right, we could. Yeah, on the 3rd. Craig if is, we weren't going to do it in person. No, we could make a Either way. Either way, John. We can decide. I'm, I'm we feel so like deciding. Decide. We could decide, <laughs> you know. Either no, way. I know, but they'll let, they'll let okay. We just say, leave the Leave the saying it's going to be in person and masks are required. I don't know. I suppose I we could say that, but I don't know that you can I don't know that force you require, it. I don't know if we can require masks at a polling place. It's, a, it's an election, and I don't think the state. I think the state has dropped that mm -hmm. uh, uh, that option to require a mask. Interesting. Now. Okay. I, I don't quote on that, but Jeremy would know. Yeah, yeah. Craig has a question. Yeah, yeah. Barbara, I'm going to... Um, Thank you, Barbara. I want to make sure that Barbara has said everything she wants to say. Yep. Yeah, no, I was just going to ask, do you guys have any other questions on this timeline? Not yet. Not yet. That's great. Thank you. Things we'll, that we keep should it, be, we'll keep it handy. So we're talking about budget, we're talking about our report, we're talking about making that decision. Anything else that you want to make sure we don't... that. We, you wish we were talking about, but we're not. Yeah, uh, I, I think not. I think that's fine as long as you pay attention to the purple and the green. That's the main yep. thing. <laughs> <laughs> purple and green. Purple and green. Okay. Yeah. Green. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, yes, yes. If you know of, uh, if as you guys hear, if an incumbent is going to be running for an office or not, let us know because by December fifteenth is the first day the town clerk will be posting on Front Porch Forum the offices that are up for election. Okay. And it would be nice if we could indicate if that is going to have be an open seat or not. So as you guys what start hearing that? from incumbents December whether they're running 15th. for any of these positions. Yeah. We, we've yeah. heard here from people who say they're not going to run again, but it probably would be wrong for us to say. Yeah, that. no, they need to, they need to let you they know. They need to let, let you know. But if they, if they think they're letting you know and that's the official way to let them know and gotcha. you can just let us know, yeah. that yeah. would be great. Yeah. Yeah. So we're all on the same page. So we're on the same page, exactly. Okay. Because, you know, some people might be interested in running for an office if they think it's an open seat, seat. So they right. don't want to run right. against an incumbent. That's right. Maybe they'd run for an open seat. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Barbara, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Barbara. Yes, uh, this is Broken Record Craig making the same point I made a 
last couple of years, I encourage to be cautious. Um, it, it's a hard decision, and, and you're not going to know enough when you need to know. Um, mm -hmm. And I would also, again, speak on behalf of this town hall. Um, there were many of us in town, and, and Denise, the last time we had an in-person town meeting at the school, mm -hmm. You asked, well, how many of you would rather have town meeting at the town hall? And two thirds of the people raised their hand. Yeah, and they you wanted said, it at oh. the town and, and so, yeah. um, I remember that. way possible, this is where a lot of us would like to be. Mm -hmm. And I understand all the advantages at the school, mm -hmm. um, but. Yeah, there's, there's spacing issue with, you know, contagious diseases is a real that's issue. That's right. It's, yeah, that's a really so, big deal. But that's where caution comes into play. Right. We did we did the math though, I think it was last year. I think we were on Zoom. I remember getting my calculator out and I don't remember the assumptions we made, but I remember that I did the math and there was no way, even in the school gymnasium, that the normal number of participants in or people who show up participants in town meeting could distance. Um, yeah, we did that. We tr we figured yeah. it out with the six Square foot footage. spacing. Yep. Right, right. But last year we did a hybrid. John was here in person. Yeah. We yeah. set up the the puppy that dogs. worked out really well. It, it worked well. Attendance was you know minuscule. But what to do? Right. I well, used to go to, to uh, school meetings. The voting part of it on a Monday night, and I'd be one of twelve people there. Yeah. You know, but. Everybody makes their own choices. Right. It was, yeah, it was, I mean, last year was, it worked well. It was a lot of work for mm -hmm. you and Cliff and others who set up the space, but it did allow people, it allowed people who don't have good internet. I think that's, that's yeah. the other thing we, yeah, we that's do. part of the problem. But anyway, so that's, that's a perfectly reasonable option because internet is great for people who have great internet. Um, coming soon. Coming soon to a town hall near you. Yep. Thank you. Okay, Craig, that thank we you. We did that in first because there were candidates, prospective mm -hmm. candidates for mm -hmm. open positions and they may or may not have had adequate internet to introduce themselves. So it gave the incumbents mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. an advantage, and we didn't think that was a good public policy. So that's why. We but there's to, still the internet. But we did allow candidates to speak in right. one of our meetings because of that. Yeah, and yeah, we. Yeah, that was not a town. That was no, that was, that was a, a different town meeting. One. It, was it was different one. Right, separate meeting. Right. I don't remember that. No, we did. I remember we did. the in-person meeting here. That's when candidates spoke. Yeah. That was candidates for select board. Yeah. Thank you. We're going to have Thanks, more, Craig, a we'll lot more that. this yeah. year. Thank Do you, Barbara. You wanna, um, Thanks, Barbara. Yeah, Denise, you want to talk about ARPA? Yeah. Um, ARPA, ARPA is the American Rescue Plan Act. Right. Thank you for your spreadsheet. Thank, Thank you, you Rini. So I don't know. <laughs> we just got a request tonight. Oh, bye, Rini. We just got a request tonight to increase the Curtis Pond Dam request from 30000 to 100000 For ARPA funds. ARPA funds. The piece that I don't have, and that still leaves us, if we were to put that on the warning, because remember we talked about putting warn certain warning items, items on, yeah. on the warning like we do with the social services appropriations. Right. Um, what I don't know is how much it would cost for this <laughs> traffic calming study. Rick, do you have any idea? Yeah, we need a number for that. The traffic calming study? I'm I mean, sorry. what's... What I have no idea what that costs. Townwide? I don't know yet. I, would, I mean, we need a figure. Yeah, we need we need a number. Just a, even a rough. A number, right? Well, we right. have we have right. to. If we're going to put this January on the morning. 23rd. We have to have all this information. Okay. Have we vetted getting back to Curtis Pond Dam eligibility for that project? Being that we don't own it. Me for our funding. funding. I'm gonna. I've got a call into Bonnie. That might be a Bob Fletcher thing too. Yeah, I'm going to start with Bonnie. I've got a okay. call into her at VLCT, where she now works, and one of her her role is ARPA. Yeah, I was searching. So yeah, that so good. that's another thing that's that we good. are sort of by raising it here. I don't know. Every other meeting, in some fashion, we are we let's just say out loud, we're we've got a chunk of money from ARPA. Mm -hmm. 
we've set, we've, we have chipped away at it as projects that we've wanted to work on for a long time have come forward. We, last meeting we approved a lot of, not a lot, it wasn't even a lot of money, but uh, uh, taking the digitization of our land records to another level. Um, right. I mean, the town but there's still money that we are going to bring to the voters and say, here is right. our. We, we we decided as a board, if it's a town related project, mm -hmm. right. that the town's going to benefit town wide, like the cots system, mm -hmm. the um, generators, right, That's for right. emergency yeah. um, services, CV fiber. fiber. Yeah. Um, that we would approve those, which we have already done, and. Well, These other appropriations requests, like Twin Valley Senior Center, Curtis Pond Dam, um, East Calais Fire District, those are the types of ones that are going to go on the warning. Right. Well, I, I would phrase what we decided differently. Things like the traffic calling, somebody could say, well, that only benefits if you go through Adamant. That's been how to tr call road design for traffic calming has been. A this perennial is a, topic. Here. Right. No, this is a town wide study. You think this is what we talked about? I think town wide I mean, study. I'm going to no, say, I but I, I think the way we would what we would do to approach that to begin with to get funding, we did it's a couple of phases, obviously, right? You right. already know this. You have to do your scoping studies to begin with, and then from there you can begin to actually break to specific projects so it's a multi-year kind of. But process. this was for the this was right. for the study. My suggestion would be that we do focus on the villages because that's really where most a lot of the speeding problem is the worst and so we could break you know I would I mean I used to do these in the regional planning commissions now this has been you know 10 or 15 years right. back so uh, we would often you know we would uh, in a in village locations we'd spell, allocate like five thousand dollars to do us a, a scoping study to come in and look at the problem and come up with those potential solutions and estimated costs. From there, the towns would then, you'd actually go out and get an engineer to right. engineer that, and so that would be separate. It's, so, you know, I would think with us, we... Can you, maybe you and I can <laughs> toss some paper back and forth, because what's going on in my head is yeah. County Road, not a village, but County right. Road, I, Lightning I, Ridge. Yeah. Right. Um, <clears throat> So, I mean, and I'm actually, it kind of is. I mean, I'm with you. County Road is a major problem, and you've got Main <coughs> Corner that's directly impacted by that. The right. Site, you know, by so, both ends. I mean, I mean, and that's why what what I was looking at in previous notes was a town wide traffic calming study. But we have to define. I think to get a sense of town wide isn't going to be. Denise, how many miles of dirt road? 75 miles. 75 miles. Well, no, but that's, I think, why you have somebody come in and look at the roads. I mean, it's part of a study. They're going to go around and look at all the roads. Focus and, and, on and they'll probably recommend that we focus on certain roads. We're not going to be right, the right, ones making point. that decision. That's why you hire this engineer person to come in and do a review. I mean, they they drive way too fast on Bain Camoli Road. Is that going to be part of the study? West Probably County not. Road, eh? Probably not. Well, it's 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 a matter of Crazy. it's more a matter of priority to start. You yeah, know, where I would imagine. So well, this is out because you're right. Speeding is an issue everywhere. So, but you start with your low hanging fruit, right? That's and then you work backwards. Where you think right? the problem there is, yeah. Yeah, right. that's, that's. But I, I mean, yeah, but we also don't want it. Uh, you know, it's good to know that what we're doing with our roads right now is not making things worse. Mm -hmm. So if we're heading in a direction, say, widening, I know that's a yeah. third rail issue in this town now, <clears throat> um, if we're inadvertently widening our roads and, and as a result, traffic, traffic speeds are picking up, mm -hmm. um, we don't want to be doing that if that's if not... If you excessively <clears throat> clean trees. Well, so the bottom line is, right is that we, we need, speed. Denise, you were starting to say, even, even <clears> if, <throat> even if we we penciled the hundred thousand for Curtis Pond. What's still we would have eighty roughly eighty thousand dollars left. <clears throat> and that seems like a lot you know, that seems like it would be a significant amount of money to do have somebody come in and say, Okay, here's here's Callus, drive mean, around the roads, mean, where would you focus our traffic calming? It wouldn't be on? anywhere near eighty thousand to yeah. do a scoping study. Okay. They aren't that expensive. 
I mean, the where the expense comes is actually the right. It's you, executing you the recommendations. Like twenty or twenty-five. Oh God, I, yeah. I, yeah, well, I, would, I, well, I would feel very comfortable. With I that. thought that yeah. we were actually not just scoping, but you know, let's just say on County Road because County Road speed limit. It's been on here, I think, for the you know almost six years. I've been on the board. County Road speed mm -hmm. limit. So there would be not. I don't know what scoping means exactly, but that it, it would it would literally result in a proposal that you know is you know for this five miles of road you should narrow it you should add a bike lane you should whatever what it does what these studies do they do a couple of things they establish need right. right which you need to access funding to to get ex grants to execute and then they come up they look at different alternatives and they come up with a preferred alternative. That's what they, so they make a general recommendation. You said this is generally what you need. Then the detailed engineering comes later. That's what a scoping study does. So, so it so looks at the comprehensive problem. It's first established can, that you actually have a problem. Can we recommend that they look at certain areas? Yes, See, absolutely. This, this is our priority. That's, 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 that's what I would do. To. Right, this is our, our priority, County Road, yeah. Lightning Ridge, Admiral. but Adamant, but to be fair to everybody in town, mm -hmm. they should look at the whole town and see if there's other areas where they would recommend. I mean, you take North Callis Road, that then becomes Peking, Peking Brook. I'm on that road a lot. There's a lot of speeding, mm -hmm. and the road is wide. Well, they'll look at it. So I mean, that's I'm, what I mean. They're going to look yeah. at town wide. They're probably not going to look at Bain Camoli Road, but the major throughways. Right. Well, they'll look at, they'll look at the quarters. You know, the, where we have quarter movements, so you've got mm -hmm. a lot of volume of traffic. They, they'll probably also look at accident data. You know, they actually look, you want to look at that because that's mm -hmm. that's relevant to right. these things. That yep. tells you a fair amount. So that, uh, but I would say that, you know, definitely the quarters and the villages, you know, will really be starting. And I don't mean just down in the villages, but those approaches. Because that's often where you have concentrations of people. Well, do we need now to be designing what the study looks no. like? No. Well, no, yeah. so we, we just no. need a we need, we need, a, we need an number. amount. It's a chicken well, in the egg. It's a chicken in the egg. To well, get I would say, you know, fifteen or 20,000 is more well, than so enough. Okay, so Even in these times? I think so. Uh, I can try to verify that. Let's go to that. 30. I was going to say well, at least 25. Could, well, I think 30. 30. 30. Because I think, because we don't want to be sitting here in a year and say, what do you mean it's not enough? Right, and also, you know, we have to spend this money within well, a certain amount of time. Do we have to spend it? Yes. Okay, how much time? It, I think we have another, I don't know if it's, I can't remember off the top of my head, it might be 2024. <coughs> but that's one of the things, I want to run this whole list of every item that we have yeah. by Bonnie and make sure that they all comply right. Yeah. Right. with the right. ARPA mm -hmm. requirements. Right. And, and she may say, eh, no, you can't okay. do a traffic well, when study. You talk, again, when you talk about the dam, it's really important to explain that the town will have irrevocable offers of dedication mm -hmm. before any of the money is spent. Yeah. So, so anyways, so, so, that's, so we are building this list. Right. That will go in front of the voters um, as a warned right. item mm -hmm. on town meeting right. to spend whatever is right. I mean, some and you know, in the originally we th we thought you know well the board could decide, but I've talked to a lot of different towns, and they're having the voters decide. You know, on items like this list, other than town That's related projects, That's so that call. the voters have input, which they should. Right. Um, yeah, we're doing a hybrid. We've we've, right. we've approved some things that have been, yeah, like I said, waiting for a long time for approval. Okay. So, anything else we want to say about ARPA? Nope. Going once. Okay. Uh, Craig and Carolyn and Jeff. Jeff Dean. Yeah. Grab a chair and come on up and join, join us. Right. We're short a chair, so pull another chair. Well, yeah. and, and this chair I've been looking at it this whole time. Oh, uh, well maybe oh. push that on to the side. That's a, that so, hazard sure. chair. I know it's been. It's, I'm sorry, it's been driving me crazy. Yeah, why don't you use a different chair? Yeah, why don't you? All right.
Yeah, we warned you. I know. I'm just going to jump in and start by saying <coughs> it's been an honor. It's really, um, it's been hard work being on the board for nine years. Mm -hmm. But I started thinking in my head today, and I didn't make an actual list of all the different people that served on the board while I did. Some just for one year, mm -hmm. and others, you know, because their term expired or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I had no idea how long I would do it. <laughs> Thank, no, we should be, we thank you. And they finally said, hey, buddy, <laughs> out the door. And I'm most pleased that we found Jeff, or he found us. Great, actually. great. Um, we've got a great, robust um, application process and vetting process. Um, so um, we had how many college candidates? At least four, We I think. Yeah, and we interviewed. I was on the I was on the East Montpelier ones. On the right, yeah, ones. and there were at least six applicants at East Montpelier. Yeah. Huh? Because this that is for the for for the Colorado board. board for the yeah. board. Yeah. Um, so it's um it's a maximum of fifteen. Um, it has to be a majority from Montpelier, um, uh, but it's, it's so much happened over the past nine years. Wonderful. From uh, a state that was still coming out of a not good place with the former director. And then Tom McComb coming on board. He was great. And he, he did an amazing job. I mean, just and the board was really committed to change and working with the staff. Um, and now we have two administrators, Carolyn and Jesse Lynn, who does more of the HR end of things mm -hmm. and payroll and etc. Carolyn is a an MLS holder, Masters of Library Science, and um, is a librarian um, and. The work that the two of them have done together over the last three now it's into been the a third while. Year. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I've been with the library for six years, yeah. and Jesse and I have been co-directors since uh, July first, twenty nineteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, I remember meeting her. Yeah. And as you yeah. mentioned, the hard work of this board during COVID, the library too, we had to shut down. How do we provide services? Mm -hmm. We expanded digital offerings. We expanded physically the Wi-Fi zone around the library. Mm -hmm. um, and you expanded delivering books to various delivering locations. Books. Books. We yeah. did, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Which was great. So. Yeah, we still do that in an on-demand way. Um, but people now are back to wanting to come into the building where mm -hmm. you know, the library is part of your running your errands. So mm -hmm. we're seeing a lot more people that want to come into the building or at least want to pick up at the library as opposed mm -hmm. to out in the towns. But we're still doing home delivery in a really robust way. And uh, I'm going to let you speak a little more, Carolyn. Maybe, but Jeff, do you have any opening salvos? Uh, sure. I have to say, so I live with my family directly across from the Maple Corner store in what used to be Steve Gallagher's house. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering. And my yeah. wife and two sons are there with me. I grew up in Middlesex and often spent time uh, after school waiting for my parents to pick me up at the Kellogg Hubbard Library. Mm -hmm. um, because they were school teachers and they would get out after me and uh, there was some time gap. And so I spent many, many hours there. So it's a special place to me. I left Vermont for 25 or 30 years and we just moved back uh, in 2019 before wow. the world kind of changed. Mm -hmm. um, moved back so to I'm really, Yeah, I mean, well, I'm so pleased to be here, but especially pleased in the face of COVID. I mean, it was, you know, we lived in Boston. And that's where I was for about 20 years. Um, I'm a publisher and so I am deeply involved in the world of books. I've published nonfiction books. And um, yeah, I saw this uh, opportunity come up and thought, that sounds like a great And where did you see it? How did you see it? I saw it posted. It, was it on which form? It was, yeah. 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 It was on our website. It's good to know. Well, well, it, it used to be fun. strictly word of mouth. Hey, who do you know? Mm -hmm. and, and we've come so far from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we, now we post it publicly and um, when we had these spots open up, uh, I sent out a mass email to all of our um, all of our patrons from the towns that were affected, from the towns where we needed new town reps, and and said, hey, this is an open application process. Where if you're, if this is something that you've ever thought about doing, we want to hear from you. Yeah, so. I think that's actually. Right. I think I had seen it, and I think I then got your got the email. email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was a great. Idea. Great. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it as open as open. And so you guys are back to normal schedules at the library? Yeah, oh, oh, we have been for a while. Yeah, yeah. 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 yep. And we're um, last year we um, 
circulated more than 350,000, uh, you know, had more than 350,000 circulations, 357,000 and change. And that's as high as I've ever seen it since I've been at the library. So you mean books? In books, specifically. You yeah. think that another, like people were reading more because they were home more with COVID? I, I do think so. And, you know, we've heard report, this is all anecdotal, this is the anecdotal, this part, but, um, you know, we've heard report after report from people of, you know, all of all of this time when I was isolated, when I had to be home, when you know, when I was when I was working from home, I couldn't really see anybody. Being able to come to the library and pick up books, even when, uh, for the the brief times where the doors were closed and people couldn't come in and browse, we helped people tremendously with making recommendations and doing these deliveries and. Uh, doing, we did so much. We did more readers' advisory than we ever have before. When people couldn't come in and browse, they were like, "Okay, you know, I love Louise Penny. Who should I read?" And it's like, "Okay, well, you need to start on the Bruno Chiba Police series. Like, you know, <laughs> so get get you on some Martin Walker." And um, so, uh, so we did a ton of that, and we've heard outpourings of, "This is how I." kept my sanity. This is how wow. I still felt like I was Isn't that wonderful? to the wider world. It was tremendous. Yeah, yeah it's been really tremendous. Um, and that coincided with now we're more than a year out from uh, uh, no, no longer charging fines, which is one of the Board of Trustees decisions that I'm the most proud of as a professional librarian. I think that's a huge move towards yeah. uh, equitable mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. You know, the people yep. who need the library the most are often the people who are the least able to pay fines or for whom that those are cost prohibitive. Uh, and then they stop using the library. And so I'm very, very glad that that doesn't happen anymore. Great. Um, yeah, so we're we're having a we're having a tremendous year. We our our program participation is still down. And speaking to the conversation you guys were having earlier about uh, about people wanting to gather in a place and, and be physically in the same space with others, we're definitely still seeing some hesitancy around that. We haven't quite gotten back to those numbers yet, um, but we're hybridizing as many as many of our library programs as we can. Or we're recording them so they're available after the fact, and then we're not and we're not counting all of those views, all of our YouTube views. If we were doing that, then our our numbers for participation would be higher. You said you've increased your Wi-Fi. Does it reach outside the building? It does. Yeah, yeah. So That's that was I a, thought so. yeah, that was kind of a perennial problem. The walls in the original building are. 22-inch thick Dummerston granite. Uh, and so wow, we have Dummerston. Dummerston. It is from there. It's from Dummerston. Uh, Why get it next door when you get it from Dummerston? I, I never <laughs> understood that, but this is. I've read all of the original, all of the original work about the the, the building, and we brought somebody up from Worcester, Massachusetts, apparently to design the building. And uh, oh, that must have been interesting. I but you know, I, I, what's really, what I really love to see, I mean, it's mostly in the spring, summer, and fall. Yeah. I love to see all the high school kids and the young kids sitting, hanging out yeah, in front, all, all around the yard, mm -hmm. etc. They're yeah. in the library, and the library is just a gathering spot, yeah. and it's just great. And yeah. I think part of it, of course, is the Wi-Fi. Absolutely. But so what? You know, it's great. Yeah. Gotta get them there, right? Yeah. 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 So we've got yeah. So we have Wi-Fi all around our building now. That's that's available for people connecting outside. We did add some outdoor seating this mm -hmm. year. Uh, that was very well received. And outdoor, we've had outdoor events. Yeah, exactly. We've had, we have we have had outdoor events. We did our our preschool story time outdoors until just a couple weeks ago when the weather finally turned. And I didn't expect that it would be as well attended as it was for as long as it was. But boy, were people were just bundling up in their jackets and showing up anyway. Wonderful. It was really, yeah, it was really awesome. It's been, yeah. it's been great. Um, so yeah, uh, one of the things, one of the, um, for better or worse, one of the things that we're seeing at the library now is more gap filling. And by that I mean, you know, we're, we're starting to see, um, I think the folks that were already down and out are more down and out than they were maybe prior to the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And so we're getting more. What do you mean by that? What I mean is I think that I think that there are other social services that are stressed right now, that are maybe understaffed and overworked. Uh, and so yeah. we're getting things like in-depth benefits questions from people. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like I'm losing my emergency rental assistance funding, how do I get on and apply for an extension? And they're and asking that at the library? And we're getting that at the library. Sure. 
Wow. And so, so yeah. those place, are things that we're place doing. of knowledge. The, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's like who, right. who can you? Where can you go when? Uh, and I have experienced this personally. When you call the <clears throat> economic services division and you get we're experience, experiencing normal mm -hmm. higher than normal call volumes. You know, you're 37th <laughs> right. in line. Yeah. But you have a question that you think is a pretty simple question. You know, where do you go to ask it? You right. go to the public library. Mm -hmm. So we're getting lots of these types of questions at the desk. We're getting a lot of, um, a lot more, uh, we're getting um, more coordinated and uh, more on the same wavelength with some of the uh, interfaith community that does all of the meals. Uh, I've been trying to attend the homelessness task force meetings in Montpelier um, because we see people from all of our surrounding towns that come into the community center to get benefits. So these are, you know, these are all our, our people collectively, and uh, so, but we're seeing in the library people coming in and saying like, okay, you know, where can I go to, where can I go to get a meal today? Is there, oh. like, who do I connect to to try to find shelter? I need help with... Are, are people going there, to, or do you anticipate they're going to go there at $7, six fifty a gallon, eating oil prices to get warm? I do anticipate yeah. that. That's something mm -hmm. that we did see pre-pandemic. But you know, yeah, so it serves as sort of a social services. We do, de facto, yeah, yeah. very much so. Oh, strikes and that's, it that's, strikes me that that's, that's really telling, really long. that's yeah. a telling fact that would be, that social services agencies would be interested in, and using that as a hub collector, yeah. you know, of some kind of mm -hmm. a satellite, having a, a, some kind of a limited presence in. Absolutely. Are, are, I uh, had that conversation uh, yeah. with, um, with some of those folks about having a um, floating uh, social social mm -hmm. workers maybe not the right word but having somebody that <laughs> somebody is like there that, where yeah. their their profession is to connect people one day a week right. half a day exactly. a week every week they come yeah, in exactly. on Friday there'll be somebody huh. to yes, right. we're, that's that's in the works for sure yeah, yes. there's, there's some work. libraries that have a social worker on staff there yeah. are yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That, that usually, I could see that being yeah. I could see that working really Absolutely. really well I'm wondering yeah. if something like AmeriCorps or there that might be a good yeah. Type. Yeah. So yeah. that's Carolyn. That's what you meant by gas fund. You're yeah. you're I mean. yeah. filling your the resource your social services. The social yeah. yeah you're yeah. filling a social well you're yeah. attempting to fill attempting to. a social yeah. service yeah. recognizing and attempting to fill a social services how information many, gap. That's really how really many cool. books did you say three hundred and seventy three hundred seven thousand. But it's yeah. book, <coughs> books out. That's circulation. <coughs> circulation. Yeah. 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 That's books checked out. Right. Yeah. yeah. Our actual collection is right around seventy thousand items. It, it, mm. we're, we're at capacity. We've been at capacity pretty much the whole time I've been at the library. So, so seventy thousand items, give or take, is roughly what the building can hold. What the building can hold. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then we have another over eighty thousand digital items that people can connect to. So we have um, we have a streaming video service called Canopy. We have um, a um, we have a couple of ebook and audiobook. A digital download applications. One is called Libby. Um, the other one is called Palace, which is brand new. We don't even have the information yet on our website about it, but we've got patrons connecting, starting yeah. to connect to it already. Right. Use Libby. Yeah. Yeah. I think when for the minutes, I think I'm, I'm going to put in a link to your website. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Uh, really, one of one of the other things that we did through the pandemic was we made most of the library services available through the website. So oh. things that you used to have to come in and fill out a paper application for, you can do online now. So mm -hmm. requesting an interlibrary loan book or signing for a library card, connecting to all of those services, finding out information. We have instructional videos, we have written instructions to try to um, get as many people connected in whatever way works for them. And I, I'm really hopeful for the day when broadband infrastructure is such that more people can also connect. Mm -hmm. Because that's, that's one of the things that I've seen as a disparity, and it's always been a little bit of a... Uh, a, a little bit of a, a of a chicken and an egg, a little bit of a like mm -hmm. fi figuring out how much to stress digital services, understanding that there are very real limitations to how people can right. to digital right. services. Right. Yeah, there is. Yeah. And some people just don't want to do digital. Period. They don't. They don't. They don't want to. They can't afford it. It's not available. I mean, there's a number of barriers to access, and we're all yeah, about really cool. reducing those barriers to access. I'm sorry, what? Oh, John was showing me the video. Canopy. Canopy. Oh, I'm yeah. like, yeah, I made a note of that. Yeah. <laughs> Spelled yeah. it wrong, though. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's with a K. K. Canopy with, with a K. K. Yes, yeah. indeed. So we, and we have a brand new strategic plan this year. The trust 
trustees approved it in um, September. Uh, and I've got copies of the short version of it. If anybody wants them, I'm happy to leave them. Um, we also revamped Can you, our- Craig, would you mind just yeah. passing this around? Yeah. We also yeah, revamped yeah, Sorry, our, I, yeah. don't, I don't want to gloss over this. No, exactly. <laughs> this was talked about when I started, and every year. Yeah, we know how that works. Much, we know much, how that works. Well, yes. <laughs> and so, <laughs> as you were talking about the things you faced and the projects you were <laughs> trying to do, um, it's really satisfying to have this three year strategic plan that now the next board yeah. 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 yeah, what is it? Yeah. You know, I'm sorry, I'm just more happy. Anyway, sorry. No, not at all. And that. so as part of that process, we have a new mission and vision statement. We have stated a commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Uh, I also brought copies of our most recently completed fiscal year annual report. I'm going to show you those. Okay. Um, yes. Most of all of this is also available on our website. Mm -hmm. We try to make as much available as we possibly can in as many formats as we can. Uh, and then the, the meat of tonight that I'm here for is to ask for a motion to add an article to the March 2023 town meeting warning uh, for the library. I was going to ask you if you, we're not going to vote on it tonight, um, but we will make a note of what your ask is. Yeah. Okay, is it, yeah, it's, it's, it's level, level funded, funded from, from last year. year. Really? Same amount. Yeah. Okay. So that's 29,498. 20, 24. Is that, a, is that a formula, formula driven number? It is. Yeah, it's so. Wait a minute, Carol. Say the number again. 29898. And that's level funding. And that's level funding. Okay, and this is for fiscal year. You, you, is your fiscal year the same as ours? Yeah. It's yeah, it's, uh, July and June. So okay. this is this. So it would be fiscal year twenty four. Correct. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. So you're looking for a warned item. Yep. Yeah, we'll have Which to. You, you guys, I mean, I have to say, and I say this to everybody, you're so supportive. Yeah. You guys are have always been very kind and generous, and said we'll put it on the morning. Yeah. You know. Not every town does that. So really? Is that right? Yeah. yeah. A lot yeah. of people, they give so much. We gave you a hard time one year about the increase, Craig. A, a long well, time ago. Have you forgotten? It was like four years in a row of level funding, and we readjusted the formula. So some towns went down. Worcester and Callis went down, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so I think everybody in town thought, oh, it's just going to keep going down now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you had every year at town meetings say, and it could go up sometime. Mm -hmm. you know, anyway. yeah, right. Well, the library gives so much back to the community. I mean, so it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. But the yeah. market is based on a per capita amount mm -hmm. of, you know, based on the latest census, how many uh, residents, yeah. and and. Well, and it's got to be, but it's also it must also reflect the budget. So it's truly mm -hmm. impressive right. yeah. in these times with totally. with everything. Somebody just mentioned, you know, how much. Um, heating oil is now mm -hmm. with everything, everything going up, yeah. and and staffing needs in demand. I'm I'm very impressed. And we're a 501c3, right? Actually. Right. So it's we're not a municipal library like right. Fletcher Free Hub, mm -hmm. Fletcher, Fletcher Free, Free Library, library Burlington. Uh, in Burlington. Yeah. You know, they they get they're part of the town, the city budget. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we we come to Montpelier. And they pay the lion's share, certainly, mm -hmm. and the other towns. Do you have, is there an endowment, Craig? There is, yes. So you just work off the interest. And so we, we pull That's off exactly right. um, the budgets made up of, uh, quote me if I'm wrong, 25% uh, from the endowment, 25% yep. from the towns, and. No, 50, no. it's a little over 50% from oh, the yes. towns, about 25% from the interest off the endowment. Uh, and then the rest is um, Fund, fundraising, fundraising and 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 fees. Yeah. Mm. So, are, are you part of the district heat system? We yeah. are. Yeah. So that's a good thing right now. Yes. <laughs> oh, you're, you're, yeah, that must take a lot to heat that big building. Well, <laughs> it, it does, and those those costs have gone up recently. And that's not uh, building the um, physical plant is not in my bailiwick, so I don't want to speak too much to the specifics of that, but if you guys yeah. had questions, I'd be mm -hmm. like Jesse, the Jesse would be able to answer that. that. Those costs definitely have Is it, uh, so at town meeting, talking points, all of these points that you're making, that there's yeah. no no more um, penalties yes. 
the late fee penalties. Yeah, yeah the on the online access. Yeah. Um, is that Craig? Are you going to? It's going to be Jeff. Yeah. When does the oh, transition yeah. happen exactly? Um, so uh, Jeff was voted on by the trustees at the November meeting. Okay. And his term will officially start in January at our annual meeting. Okay. Uh, which and is that's when the trustees, which is uh, January 18th. Our meetings are always the third Wednesday of the month, five o'clock, <clears throat> be there, be square. We meet nine times a year. So January through June, we take July and August off. I'm still saying we know this. Right, you will and then, forever. And then uh, September, October, November. So, so January. January through June, yeah, January 18th is, is the annual meeting. And that's when trustees are officially elected for another three year term. So. Jeff and at least two others who are new trustees, maybe there are three. Um, and then uh, it could be someone is now about to start their fourth year, so the first year of their second three-year term. Mm -hmm. So I have served now three three-year terms. Right, yeah. So, um, You've but maxed those, out, right? Yeah, that's I'm sorry. Yeah, that's You've maxed thing. out. I've maxed out. That's a great model. Yeah. Yeah. That is a that's great, a great model. model. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's still nine years. <laughs> no, it's nine. Well, it's it's a lot. It is a lot, but yeah, yeah. it's a lot, but it 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 yeah. ensures oh, it ensures stability. <laughs> I would imagine if you can live long it enough does. to well, max and, out. <laughs> and once you're term. off the board for two years, you could theoretically come it's back like on. I've never known anyone to do that. Yeah. Um, didn't Tim Donovan? He did he, not serve out a nine-year term. Oh, he didn't do it full nine-year term right. the first time. Yeah, yeah but he, he, but he, he served a few years and then because of his yeah. work, um, he, left he left and then he came back. Yeah. Yes, I think it's going to be important to let people know that it's level funded again. Yeah. 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 You know, in my, in my work, I, I manage, among other things, several million dollars worth of contracts. Yeah. And the cost increases okay. have been two and a half times just over five years. Yeah. I mean they have literally gone up. We are seeking like, an increase this year from the city of Montpelier. So yeah. it's we are we're in previous years and I and the trustees vote on this every year so I can't make any any sort of a guarantee but in previous years we we have had a model where we saw an increase from the city of Montpelier one year, mm -hmm. and then the next year saw increases from all of our outlying towns. Right, so um, next year. So next year. Next year I may be back here asking you for more money. It's okay, okay. you know what? When you're holding it back, when you're We're asking to for when you need, really need yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this is, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people. You might have said it and I didn't, I didn't take it in. Um, this is how many years of level funding? This is or? just the second one. This we is the second one. Last year second one for Calus. So okay. now I understand why the city of Montpelier is not fixing, fixing its drinking water lines. Because they're going to fund the library, library. this year. Next yeah. one. Is there any, um, being, being mindful of the time and that yeah. we are, we love hearing this, but I'm also really, we're all really anxious to hear Rick's road report. Yeah. Uh, anything else you guys want to add? Any other questions for <clears> the board? <throat> But I'm happy to answer any questions as they come up, uh, and I'm going to be trying to answer questions. Okay. All right. And thank you so again, Denise. Yeah. Can we? Yeah. And thank you, Jeff. Can we capture in the minutes that <laughs> what the Kellogg Public Library asks is, and then it's lovely. Would you? Yeah. Well, yeah. I've got some other notes I want to put in there. Too. Yeah, it's just really about yeah, social yeah, services. Yeah. Yeah. Just that it's just brief. Yeah, 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 because yeah. that'll give people a chance to start. And I want to put in their website too. Yeah, really good point. I wonder what Black is going to get about that. I'm surprised. Yeah. 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 We'll see. Thank you, Carol. Um, yeah, thank no, you I think much. people will like that they're much more easy to read. Yep. Okay, Rick, Rhodes Report. Okay. And winter plow roots. I'm going to stand though. I'm a little stiff. Yeah, All right. Right. stand. Uh, let's see, generally speaking, I think, we, as John will attest, thank we've you been, all. Thank we've you. begun. Thank you. We've, thank you for making We've the transitioned trip. over now from a lot of the obviously road grading, and we're into kind of winter maintenance period. Mm -hmm. um, the, there's been some sanding going on primarily now, minor amounts of mine. We still have, we still have soft roads. Yeah. So, we do. Yeah, yeah they're, they're not. Muddy. Yeah, they're, they're like claws. they're like slippery. Like they are. They're muddy. Yeah, they're getting. They're, they're softer. Mud, mud so I mean, we're waiting for things to freeze yeah, up. Yeah, so I noticed that. 
but uh, I think they're, the guys have been focused on uh, things like removal of hazard trees right now. They're doing removing beaver dams. And thank you, Sharon, for your you're welcome. Your gray road. I passed that on to Tyler. So texting a photo to Rick. That helped. Excellent way to make him aware of. But that was <laughs> yeah. So they're, dams. they're they've kind of they've been maintaining the trucks. I think we had Peter's truck. We had a electric hydraulic over electric over hydraulic pump failures, but he ordered the parts, fixed that. So that's actually cool. Cool. fast and fixed in house. He fixed yeah. it in the house. He's done that. These, these guys are amazing. These guys are good. Thank you, John. Yeah, John. Yeah. As a representative so, uh, of the guys. Yeah, no, I hope no, you go no, back no. and tell them how many times we've given you applause. <laughs> <laughs> I think at some point this winter, it's they'll pay you enough. <laughs> they've already been out there on Friday. I think they had to do sanding. And uh, what I'll do, I'll work with Peter <clears throat> so that we know when crew aren't going to be available to be called in if we have an event then we should know who is just gone on leave and or who who's actually available so we have an idea of what our staffing potential is so we'll try to track that i think on the equipment front every yeah like i said everything everything's up and running now i think you've been mainly uh, we've got with, with this winter we'd like to come up with some kind of solution maybe we'll try to as time allows work on a pallet for that chloride tank, if we can sort of set that up in a dump truck instead of using that trailer that's oh, no yeah. longer serviceable, right. yeah. it's got to go. Yeah. So we'll, we'll we'll work on that as Wait, time allows. Wait, tell us about that trailer. The chloride trailer that was being used, it should have been retired probably some years ago. They had an axle rust in half and pop up, and it was the frame is Swiss cheese. It's uninspectable. It's not safe. Is this the trailer they were pulling that they weren't supposed yeah, to? Yeah. Well, yeah. Without... I mean, it's a thousand. It's a thousand gallon chloride tank. Well, water weighs eight and a half pounds per gallon. So you're talking in excess of ten thousand yeah. pounds on a trailer that was and not, these, and, not roadworthy. And we can also thank the crew for discovering it to, that they it. They brought it to my attention. Right. That's Actually, them. Uh, Peter was driving it. Yeah. That axle broke. It broke off. Brought right. it back, took the axle off, welded it back up, and put it back on. Yeah. Just keep it operational. Wow. But it's, but, yeah, I mean, and this is something well, that... Well, we're doing, we have, we will Something that, if you have a CDL license and you get caught pulling it... Well, that's what I mean. Right. You guys were doing this. You were being told to do this by the previous road commissioner, right. and you shouldn't have been. And that's, and what that's not your fault. We're looking at the option. The short-term option will be to rig up weld up basically a pallet frame for that tank so it can be loaded empty into a dump truck you know secured filled Great do idea. chloride pull it off pull it out maybe that'll be a permanent solution i yeah. don't know we have to we'll look at that we'll look at the treated chloride uh options too because it might be if if like the uh, uh the treated chlorides are corrosive and don't damage the truck bodies which is that's a risk we run, you know, with burning mm -hmm. chloride up into a, under those metal bodies. I, they, they, they doesn't like regular chloride that chews through them like cheese. So I do have a question. I, I noticed one time I was in and it was in the winter time and the truck that Alfie drives was full of salt and it was in the heated garage. They have to be, so they don't freeze up. So is there a way we could get those things hosed down before they, I don't know. Well, I'm just thinking aloud because that's the problem. Well, if we're not, it eats the trucks. Will the lie. sand. I mean, you're you're spending putting sand on most of the roads, right? Not salt. But that's the no. That's the truck that spreads the salt. That's the truck I'm talking. Oh about. yeah, yeah. Chlor I don't know. We don't have a washing bay. We've, we've actually mentioned that I think in our meeting. But those are very tricky to put in because of the water runoff issues on them. Uh, so it's something we can look at. I don't have answers. Well, I mean, if that answer. truck could be outside and plugged in rather than inside. So it's not freezing at all. So it's not freezing. Well, a heated, a heated garage accelerates corrosion. It does. It's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. exactly So it's outside, it won't, it won't yeah. Felt, you know, cross. Yeah, I get it. Something we can check out. Okay. But anyway, let's see. Let me keep going so I don't run out of time. Yeah, they've been, uh, yeah, I think this week they're working on hazard trees on Robinson Hill Road and Marshfield Road. They're, they're trying to prepare for, you know, just avoid winter hazards. And then there's brush, brush and small tree removal, and they're chipping that as they go. So that, that's, again, kind of 
And they chip it and leave it on the person's... They blow it, they blow it right out on the ground. It's just wood chip. It's like mulch. Yeah. Right, but yeah, but they so don't I think take so. it back. You guys don't haul it anyway. You just blow it right onto the... Yeah. Yep. And then the beaver dam removal, the Peak and Brook Road, and then uh, Stillbrook Road are the two that they're working on. And I told them about the Gray Road the dam, too. There's actually <laughs> one, there is one off of uh, Toby Hill that I own, but I don't know if it's in the right of way, the dam, and I don't know if it's a hazard or not. I have to walk down and look at it. The myself. dam, I don't think the dam on Gray Road is in the right of way, but. Well, I think that, that might pose a. They've been so busy. It's impressive. The yeah, the they are. Been, yeah. <laughs> very, yeah, talk they, about industrious. I do know that. <laughs> Winter's coming. Yeah, I know. <laughs> In, in the recent weeks, they've been also been clearing out, you know, culvert inlets, things like that. I think on, uh, uh, <coughs> um, uh, you know, on, on uh, uh, Collar Hill Road, I believe. Were you guys on Marshfield Road this morning? Yeah. Yeah. What was it? A tree down? Uh, fell off the roadway. What? A tree fell on a roadway. It was a dead tree that made stump at the front part of it. We cut it up and pushed it off. Yeah. We saw it. Yeah. Yeah, I think, and anyway, back there, I think they're right now we've got, to, I think Peter's about to put in another, just replenish our chloride supply because we're running a bit low. We've had to, you know, we don't have a lot of chloride that we use. So we just have county, basically the county road and then the spur on Lightning Ridge up to the school, which is really short. And then probably some aprons, paved aprons off that, you know, so. Do you guys saw the Marshfield Road, the, the, the part that's, Goes up the, to the cemetery. That's oh, is that oh the, by the church. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it does get all the pavement. Yeah, yeah, all the pavement. Yeah. yeah. I don't. Let's see what else. Uh, bridges. Yeah, the Moscow Woods. I mean, they did the stabilization work on that. That's that's done for the winter. That our What winter. about the grant? Uh, the grant. I don't have. I'm. I mean, the, you need. Well, I need. Emergency. I need permission from our board, and we have to. I'd like to sole source that right out to DeWolf, just get them to this. I know, but that's what I'm asking about. You He's got it, right? You have, I think I said. When do we have to proposals. do that by Rick? Well, as soon as we can do it, so we can get. Okay. So sole source. I would like to get, you know, take a so vote So we can on put that. it on. Now, the you asked agenda? the state, and you're waiting to hear back? Yes. I hadn't heard back from the state yet. Okay. I am waiting. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we can't. I, I just have been gone this week, so. So we yeah. can't do this, approving this, just until you hear from the state. Right, right. I'm going to put that. Yeah, I, I made a note. What is the item? That, what's the, what should be the name of the item? It would be a uh, engineering. This would be a sole source contract to develop engineering for the temporary repair for the Moscow Woods Bridge. Uh, road is Bridge 27 on Town Highway 5 for these guys. Okay, so the sole source contract to develop engineering. Yeah. For temporary repair. And I have to contact, I can make Is it you know, Moscow? With DeWolf Engineering, right? Woods. Yeah, it's DeWolf. Bridge. Yeah, it's right. Chris Temple now. Rick's retired, mm -hmm. but. I got it. Okay. I got it, sort of. <laughs> can you read my writing? <clears throat> I got it. I got it. Okay. The whole of I definitely want to hear about winter plow roots because you yeah. guys have been reshaping the plow roots. Yeah, yeah but I don't have the roots. Per se, um, yet. These John, guys do you guys have, have them written down? They, oh, sorry. Do you have the new plow routes written down, or map, or mapped out? Yeah, we're basically doing the same thing. Are they similar? I know you redistributed some of uh, Alfred because oh, Alfred had a yeah, small some route. The, some of the holes we call them, like the little areas where the ten wheels are going in. Mm -hmm. um, Audrey has them now with a small truck. Um, right, and you redistributed the so that the. Rodeo time is more fair, correct? It's going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. because shorter. Sure happened more on Ajahn than he probably, of course, because he's new. Right. Whereas play really high and give him. <laughs> right, because what you what you guys told me, and I think you told Rick, is the former road commissioner's route was three hours and everybody else's yeah. was like seven, six. Six or seven. Yeah, six or seven, so you more out, equally. And what he's doing, with, what Ajahn's going to do is he's going to. It, there's places it's a pain to get the bigger trucks into. Mm -hmm. And right. he's, little, he's moving around a little more than out of his route, but he's getting it done. Uh, we haven't had anything big yet. But, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's working out okay. Yeah. Well, I think they're trying to feather him in, right? I mean, you're going to gradually yeah. get him yeah, right. He's into a problem now because Dana can't work anymore this year. Uh, yeah. Right. 24 yeah. hours. 
And he was he called me on Friday. I wasn't here Friday. Mm -hmm. So, but come January, he'll be able to again. Yeah, January he's back to start yeah. over again. Oh, okay. Right. Limit, we didn't know about the limit per year. Wow. Um, for, for, because he's collecting yeah, he's, social he's got security. A limit to number of hours. He's so well, this is where we mentioned like the last no, meeting. Actually, you can getting some redundancy, <laughs> the maximum, like a second. Hey, guys, guys, getting guys. access to a second you know, we'll call kind of part-time position. Temporary. And, you yeah. know, Bruce had offered to do that on as needed if we wanted, but we could try to find somebody. I think it would be really smart for us for a couple of reasons in that we'll call kind of range. Yeah, I think because we should. Because then if we get a really bad event, we can actually double our. You should see. We could advertise. We can I, would, I would encourage. Advertise. I mean, do we have the budget for it? I don't know. Right well, now, it depends on what. Uh, that's a good question. I'm why don't, sure. why don't I think we, we need to look at where we are budget wise. Right. Yeah. Well, this is what I would say here too. If we can, you know, if we, we don't do it right this minute, right? If we can build this in, so we're, we're, this is working toward our future. If we can do that next year, we just make sure we've got the money, you know, in that next, next fiscal, even there, that helps us. We may have the residual in the budget now because we haven't been, we, we might. had Alfred, we, you know, we, I mean, we always, yeah, we always wanted to have a redundancy so that we have, you know, backup, but also so that the guys can rest. We need to rest them in big events. Right. Yeah. Really, yes. we yeah, to, yeah, yeah it's a real so, safety issue. Well, we want to make is. sure you guys are safe and not driving, you know, too many hours and, yeah. you know, I mean, your safety is really important. This is a big deal in big events. and. You know, the, frankly, it, it concerns me a lot. There's no predicting with the climate change where we're going. What we do know, I mean, I've talked to Scott Whitty at the National Weather Service quite regularly. You know, those guys are seeing these warming trends, warmer weather, longer warm falls. Mm -hmm. And to me, you know, what that means is we're going to have more moisture pushing up. In the past, we've had these Arctic polar fronts that kept moisture south of us. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not necessarily going to be there now. We're going to see warmer temperatures, so heavy, wet, dangerous snows. And the jet stream shifted more. And more volume, yeah. more moisture, because it's yeah. warmer. You know, so yeah. you've got more moisture. So your precipitation amount becomes greater. And this mm -hmm. is, so we, and then coupled with the fact, as, as John will tell you, you know, the warmer, we're far better off on really cold, cold temperatures. We've got very hard roads. And you get good traction in really cold, wet, high loft snow, or dry, high point loft snow. The closer you get to that freezing point, the more dangerous and the heavier they get. Everything about it gets worse. Harder to push. And then you got a road that's not. And then the stable. trees fall over. You got yes. trees that are not frozen very well. So have, the plows are damaging. Have you um, cons so. have you considered? Um, I'm thinking about messaging. So last year, we were doing um, you, the the you part of we, but you you were doing fairly regular posts. I'm on, going to be. I will actually yeah. very. I've just. I've been trying to. I mean, I have limited time too because I'm working. I, I know time. you do. I know. So we go. But what I plan on, you know, as important information comes out, like the, we have these weather events, mm -hmm. I'll start doing regular, if I have to do it every day, I'll do it. We'll put, you know, critical information about what's happening and what, you know, road conditions are. I'll get something onto the website. If we had, if, we, if everything were set, if we had full staffing and DPW. We were on, on yeah, a regular, DPW. you know, if we were just, I would love to have just informational ses sessions every year, as a matter of course. Yeah. Like, okay, just to invite people in to hear what what do the changing weather conditions mean for us? Because people need to understand. Yeah, yeah it's, I think changing. part of what we have to do is manage expectations. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's, you know. I think it would be yeah. yeah. The fiber well, we can, I, fibers I mean, I'm glad to do that too. I think there is value because <clears throat> we're we're good, we're having to change the game. And we don't know exactly how that looks. I mean, nobody does. I mean, the That's National right. Weather Service is trying, you know, to give predictions. But what we do know is how these roads behave. We know how they do behave in March right. versus January. Mm -hmm. So right. if you've got five or January six months. January starts to look like March. 
Well, and they and it's done it. Yeah. Some so Rick, times. I yeah. think what what we've heard over the years too is people want to know what the plow routes are. We okay. And I'll get I those. I just didn't. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah, you, yeah. I know you've been out of town and you've been busy, but you know maybe the guys can mark up a map like. Yeah, we can. Do, and then we we'll can post it. that on the website. So That's people, fine. Yeah, we can do that. Because, I mean, people have asked for that over the years and we can never seem to get it. Is there any... I mean, I don't know. What, what do they what, use The question is, what would they want? People want to know... You know timing. Timing. It's, it's so that they know... Who gets plowed yeah. first and Well, all. they know that if you're if the plow comes by at 10, you're not going to see a plow again until... Two. Two or whatever. Oh, just okay. understanding what the... I think that would go a long ways in, in meeting expectations of, you know... We've only got so many people to, to plow the roads. Mm -hmm. We've only got so many trucks, mm -hmm. um, you know, and we know, and I think... And we're focused on safety. And well, we're, we're focused on our safety for our crew, plus the, the school bus routes get done first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll try, I mean, I can talk to people. Let's let the guys, uh, you know, we've had a lot of turnover on the crew. Mm -hmm. So we've got to feel our way into this so yeah. we can even really predict that. Now, is there, honing these roots a little bit. We can right. probably give rough times if, if, if it's a snow night where, and these guys hit the road at 3 or 3.30 in the morning. That's, we weren't doing that all the time with Alfred, right? They're, yeah. they're in there early, so they'll have an idea of roughly what time, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to hit. Yeah, I mean, that's all, I think that's all people are wanting, even, just, yeah, to, even mean, just to see a map of what the roots are. We'll, we'll put that on, that's yeah. easy and, enough, and we'll and try to, to get some. And to be reminded that plowing stops after... 7 o'clock. 7 p.m., and yeah. if you're starting at 3, that's, that's a... These um, guys got to have enough time to get a decent night's sleep. Well, well that's exactly that's right. That's a 16-hour yes. day. We can't have them working 16-hour days. No. So, so, yeah, so making sure people understand the reality of road management during storms. Well, and that's where so we is can, our strategic again, plan. So we're staffing yeah. right. Right. And flexibly, that's where, you know, having, uh, if we can find them, you know, kind of, you know, Staggers. as needed, as yeah. needed part-time drivers who we can call in. I mean, right. that's, I that's there's a huge advantage to us. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You mean, <clears throat> that's the most important thing I think you've said. Well, I think so that's how do you, one thing. What do you need from us? Well, I think in that, I would say, John, I mean, I would, I would think we would want to have at least another temporary, temporary that we could right. call on. <clears throat> what do you need to do to get that? The, you, we right. talked about this Which at is, the beginning. It's, it's looking at the budget. It. <clears throat> and then we can, we'll look at this year's budget and see how we're floating. Right. You know, and that's going to be a little tricky because we got so many wild cards running right now. But, but we, had budget, we had budgeted for... I mean, I think there's money because we had yeah. budgeted for five full-time road crew members and we're not paying a road commissioner right now. Mm -hmm. I think that there is money, I but we can't well, do five anything. five counted the road commissioner, though. If, if that five counted Alfred's position. Right, right. So we yeah. don't have... But, but, yeah. So I think, you know, we could put it... I but mean, we're also be, still... Yeah, we right. have to look at I mean, at Alfred it. used to just... Call, you know, he knew people and he would just call them and add them and tell us they are temporary. Right, so we, so, but, I, yeah, I mean, we've always, we've always thought there was a need. I think, I, I love that we're thinking this way. Mm -hmm. I, I, you use the word strategic plan. We talked, I think that's great. A year ago we talked about, um, what were we, what were we calling it? Like the, um, having an aware, Oh, the contingency planning. Yeah. The contingency planning around it, what if the storm is a, is a 3 a.m. To, to 7 p.m. storm. Not, not only having an extra person is great, but what if we don't have an extra person? What does that mean? And how, do we, how, sure, how do we make sure that people understand it doesn't mean the guys are plowing for 16 hours. It means you got, this is what it you actually got, looks like. This, you got to you got to plan a, right. you got to plan around well, the fact that they're have, not plowing for six right. hours. Well, well, I think I can really work with this crew. These guys are yeah. good, and we'll be able to do that. We do need a little time for them to really work together as a group. There are a lot of new guys, so we have to mm -hmm. figure. Right. Well, and right now they have now, to just really get familiar with the. So roots. right now, though, so. what I'm hearing is that Dana can't work until January first. 
So who you know who knows? December can bring a lot of snow. Well, it sure does. So yeah. I think that the worst kinds. <laughs> yeah. You know, do the guys know anybody that's got a CDL that could be a temporary? Well, I think Bruce does. We've got Bruce. Stop saying his name. But it's the, do we have anybody? Do I mean do we have anybody else? Well, I do think advertising. I think just putting the word out there. If you feel confident we have the budget for it, then putting the word out, even on Front Porch Forum or Harvard Gazette or other places. Yeah. And temporary, you know, yeah, temporary. They, have have, they already have, and they have to have a CDL license. We can't have it so that. Well, no, we'd have to. Have, you know, we'd CDL almost need a. We'd, we'd almost need commercial a commercial driver's license. license. Huh. We need it with a CDL. There's different would levels of it. Most of the trucks, CDL would only. Have, there's isn't there different levels? We need a class B, right? Yeah. For right. CDL yeah. class B. Dana is the only other class A. I'm class A. Dana is too. Yeah, you're class A and Dana, and then we. And we'd what does that mean? That's 85 What? So, they so you can drive the, the biggest the top, It's the top tier. Those trucks are so the biggest one. Class B. Class B. Yeah, we need I, class I think this is great. Um, so. we've, and that we've had some time tonight to. John, John, I was going to say, John, you're here. Is there anything um, you want to add? Yeah, we still, with the pandemic, the yeah. supply chain, we still have parts issues that nobody can predict. Sometimes, like, we would, you used to break down, you'd get parts be on the road the next day. Now it's taking two, three weeks. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. another and part of contingency. No yeah. guarantee when you order stuff now, if we can get it. Right. right. Peter and I were just talking about that this morning. So Do we have any things that we should be ordering ahead of time? And we have our chain, we have most of our stuff in hand, but, you know, just miscellaneous breakdowns. So yeah, you happen. can't. I was, Peter and I were talking about that this morning. I said, what is it that we what makes sense to keep in stock. And it's difficult because our trucks don't have a very long life. We have five, six years. Right. And then we trade them. And then, so, you know, you don't want to go out and buy a $4,000 hydraulic pump as a spare. That's only going to be good for a truck that you're going to get rid of in a few years. Right. So you, and they already have the equipment to make their hydraulic hoses. I mean, I think with us, it would, what I would say would be more strategic in the planning is things like, you know, on these plow trucks, we currently use, you know, electric over hydraulic, what they call, I mean, they have electric control systems that control. Servo. Yeah, yeah and it's a servo controlled hydraulic pump. And yeah. they're problematic. They like to use them because they don't have to do as many hydraulic hose penetrations right. into the cab. But the hydraulic systems, if you have a pure hydraulic there, like, are a lot more reliable. So, you know, we might want to look at that when we're purchasing our trucks. And as the guys have said too, we, you know, there was this push to get bigger and bigger dump trucks. Well, we need to have at least one or two, it's like six wheel, you know, mm -hmm. smaller dump truck. I mean, of course, based on prior conversations, we want to keep a mix in our inventory. <coughs> you can haul as much sand, but you can, they're more maneuverable mm -hmm. and you've got, when you're pulling a trailer or something like that, right. there are advantages. We still yeah. should, you know, I mean, the, all right, this is One great. of the reasons we so, wanted to get bigger trucks was so we wouldn't have to make as many return trips to pick up material. So we should keep it on our tickler list that we need to find a central location to store. A central location for the garage so we don't have to keep running up. Right. Or that. Well, yeah. you know, or that. We've looked, we've looked at, you know, yeah. options of where can we, we where can we. We run all the time on 14 to get right. where we're going with chains on. Well, we've looked at options of where can we put another. Yeah. We actually looked at a property. We thought we had a, an agreement to lease, uh, at least for an interim period, to stockpile material and maybe get a second payloader to load trucks center of town off County Road. But that changed. <laughs> Something changed, and that the folks backed out of it. So, so but we've got. There's one last thing I do want to cover, and that is on the radar sides. The guys got three of the bases in: one on the West County Road, one on the East County Road. Right. We selected, we met, we selected, select, and what I meant, what we didn't get with our signs were the mounting <coughs> plates, so I've got to get hold of Wolf at, uh, at hmm. the guy we are, and he'll collect to get plates to us. As soon as we have those, we can actually install them. We have the one on Lightning Ridge by above Doug Lilly's up at Tucker Road. We cited that just below Tucker, mm -hmm. so we thought Great. that was the best. Good. So we're we're just waiting. For we need a parts. photo for the town report of that of Man. Doug and Rick and some of the guys. The guys. They've done the work with, with the, the sign, with a bottle the bottle of champagne, yeah. christening the speed sign. Somebody. We'll have somebody approaching the sign at seventy and have Doug go. 
And the sheriff down there, anyway. Um, is there anything else we're going to I, I, I do want to highlight that some of the, what feels really important to me is, as having having a crew that can rotate in and out, which we don't have right now. These are these are what we don't have. We don't have crew who can come in and out. We have unpredictable weather. We have a supply chain issue. All of which adds, you know, brings to the point that people need to be patient around road maintenance in the winter. They that's, do. That's, that's well, that's and, and, we and also I want to just emphasize the, the town report. Emphasize, yeah. you know, we're very, you know, we want to make sure that our road crew, and our road crew the is safe. Is crew. safe. That's yeah, right. and that they're working. You know, yeah. they're not. That's right. You can't just do 16-hour days three days in a row. No, nope. it's not going to work. No. Nope. All right. Safe. Good. Good. So good. Anyway, John, that, I'm really glad you're here for these conversations to weigh in. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that I think we've got, you know, with us. Um, yeah, I think the the back, next thing I'm. Denise and I are working on the budgeting pieces yep. too. I mean, we've got some real wild cards there. I don't even know how to begin to handle because of the interruption in our grants, you know, with the grants that were operational this year that have not happened. And so it's going to be tricky figuring out how I we, found a list. Yeah, I know that you got the list, but then the question is how all that translates forward. Right. Well, we and because well, of with that. things that were supposed to be expended this year. And, right. Right. And well, plus the fact that we, we shifted districts. Well, and um, the fact that we have a list, we can follow up on the list. Right. So we'll what, get, what uh, is this? we will, uh, okay. we'll, we'll do our best on this piece. And I think, uh, yeah, and I, and I think you're right. We're, I'll, I'll work on the communication piece with the town. Mm -hmm. so People really liked that last year. They did? I, yeah. I, I didn't. Yeah. Well, that's I good. Think I, wrote, there's, there's an opportunity for really meaningful roads report in the town. Well, I, I was, the, I was trying to do, in, the report. in my reports in there, you know, remember, I was doing it during, really during mud season, mm -hmm. when, when they, we needed regular reports, yep. but I always added, every week I added different right, yeah. and people, people at the bottom, really, kind I of heard, the tip of the week, I heard and it was things. about, yeah, it was why we, things. you know, why we do ditching, or why mm -hmm. we mow, or, and mm -hmm. how, you know, there's a reason, and how we do it. Right. And there's, uh, and I was trying to do that. We'll continue that because it's educational. Absolutely. I think we do. You brought up a good point that this, you know, we we have a few guys that manage a lot of road, a lot mm -hmm. of difficult road, yeah. and we have limited resources, and so we do. We only have so much flexibility, right. and they we actually do really well given what we've got. But there is a limit to how far it goes, and we get hit by things that we can't predict, and especially with supply chain issues, things like that. Supply chain, weather, and we're stuck. I mean, yeah, safety. If we can't All right, go. so this is good. good. Thank um, you, Rick. Thank, thank you, John. John, yeah, thanks for thanks yeah, to you and the crew. Um, okay, so let, let's just highlight again our upcoming meeting schedule. We have a meeting uh, this coming Saturday. Yeah. To Denise and Rick are going to have more numbers. Ten. For us on highway, that was one of the big right um, gaps. Yep, here at ten, just like we did last time. Bring your notes from the the budget. We meet um, the twelfth. Is it is it the twelfth? It's a regular meet meeting on the twelfth as a regular meeting and the and a special meeting on the nineteenth. But that that's because we're not meeting on the twenty sixth. Right in there somewhere for sure. We will have to do some pop up meeting for. You know, one, maybe right. you know, new new candidates for positions, more budget meetings. There's there will be <coughs> other, right. other things hitting it's our Saturday, Saturday, radar Saturday, to, as we Saturday, build towards Saturday, town meeting. Um, <coughs> we yeah, yeah ignore the ignore this November twenty eighth that didn't find its way out mm -hmm. on December twelfth. Um, I'm, I'm skipping it. Okay, to, it's, wait a to, second. Rick's trying to catch up. 12 yeah. 3 Saturday at 10. Yeah. A regular meeting on Monday, the 12th. And, that's and that, then that's another seven. meeting. That's 7. Or are we doing a 6? I think um, you should assume 6. Assume, yeah. Yeah, okay, put yeah. 6 on your calendar. And then what's the next one? And then, and then the next one will be in And then the next one after the 19th would be in January. January. Right. And then it'll be January, right? right. Yeah. January, January 2nd is the Monday, right. January so it'll be 9th. the 9th. Yeah. 
And we have offered at this point to the crew to meet on the 2nd or the 16th, depending on what's going to work for them. So keep those Mondays in mind after, you know, after the holidays. And so hopefully January we'll be 2nd in, or 16th. Yeah, hopefully we'll be in good shape on the budget and town meeting by then. So um, I'm jumping ahead to future agenda. Is there anything under just a round robin that people want to raise? Um, Mark? I, I think the only thing I was worried about is the dam. Yeah, we've talked about that. Yep, so. John, Ron Robin. Um, well, what's been Bye, on my <coughs> Bye. 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 Yeah. Yeah. What's been on my mind tonight, just talking about speed, is County Road. We had kind of an informal discussion about maybe just posting the 50s as 40s. Yeah. Morning the traffic that. ordinance amendment. Yeah, I which we have here. We have a hearing. Just do it. Get it done, and move on. I think we should do that just for consistency on that road. The way we yeah, trump up and down, there's, there's enough. There, you know, honestly, I almost don't care about the 85th percentile rule on that. That that, that is silliness. I, I don't agree this, with that. That should, philosophy. I it should think be the same on the whole road. I agree. I, mean, I, 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 not, I can, and frankly, at two in the morning when I was in a rush, 15 years ago, I've gone 90 probably to mm -hmm. East Montpelier. Um, just telling you that at 75th or 90th percentile is a bunch of boulder dash. Wow. They've been 40 since. So do you guys? Time. Do you want an agenda item to make a formal proposal on yeah. the 12th? Well, I have, we would need. It's a traffic ordinance change. Well, that's actually we've had this. We've had carrying this traffic control ordinance update. Reduce county road speed limit. Next steps, John and Rick. Yeah. It's on the 12th. Do you want 15 minutes on the agenda that night? Yes. Yeah, so yes. Yeah, so we, we, we need to warn. We need to warn the amendment to the traffic. And control ordinance. So we would be voting on that then? Yes. Do you have an amendment? And the amendment would be to change the zones that are 50 to 40. Well, but it needs to be more than that because we have an ordinance and somebody actually needs to pull up the ordinance. Yeah, no, I, I understand that. Okay. So you're going to do yeah, that? So John? I can do that. Not just verbal, John. No, no, I understand <laughs> right. that. Okay. So what meeting are you suggesting? I'm, I'm saying the 12. for the 12th. Oh, 12th. wow, awesome. Well, it's already on here for the 12th. It's okay. already there. Um, anything else in your mind? No. Okay, Denise? No, I'll say it. So we can, uh, no, that's good. So we can also even direct the road crew it. to get the, the speed signs. So we have to speed order the signs. signs. We may not have them in inventory. Well, that's what I mean. The 40 we can mile actually an hour get speed 40 signs. mile an hour. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I don't know how many there are yet to do it. Okay. So at uh, 15 minutes and you're going to. Oh, oh and also, this also we had mentioned accurate. the transition. Where well, we go from 40, 40 to 25. Maybe that doesn't matter. It doesn't anymore. matter in this. We were going from, from 50 to 25. No, we were going from You can only, no, you can only 50, jump in 50 15 to 40 minutes. 40 to 25. 40 to 25. You can go 15 right. mile per hour increments, no more. So if you're going 40 to 25. But it's nice to say speed, you have to slow do speed up ahead. Reduce, so, yeah, Because all of a sudden you, you're yeah. at 25 and you're in violation. No, you have to have a reduce. Yeah, you actually. We don't have a reduced speed. We have to have a reduced. We speed. don't have those. So we should get some of them. Okay, so, so maybe you'll make a minutes. list of the signs maybe. the guys need to add order. Yeah. Well, okay. Okay. Well, so maybe on, I'm, I'm putting this for 20 minutes. Um, if if we can if we can have that if we have that time, uh, Rick, anything on your mind that you haven't had a chance to talk about yet? I know we've already talked about the uh, the wolf the. Uh, yep. And that oh yeah one one more thing we've got I need some. I need some help. We've, I don't know. We have to get uh, for the loose road project. Easements. We've got to get the easements that are out of the right of way that they have, they have to do I some we, work. We, we talked about this and I was going to con when you're ready, we're going to contact the town attorney. Yeah, we need to do that. Okay, but we yeah, do? right. Okay. We can do I, we that, that, but that, I was I, just waiting for you to give me the go. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Let's go. So, so yeah. okay. All right, so do looking. You the, do you have the documents for mm -hmm. that? Okay. All right, so looking <clears> down <throat> the list of what's on for next time. Um, we have the dam, we have um, a piece. We have a bunch of minutes to do. We have a bunch of minutes. We have an ECCT item that I paired out the wrong version, but if you go into the folder for the 12th, they're starting, the, the items for the 12th is more complete than what I have at least have in front of me. Um, Jeremy is coming to talk about He's going to make a proposal around changing the, the grace period for taxes, which relates to what mm -hmm. goes in the morning for town meeting. We also um, we have the Woodbury. I was going to say we have the yeah. fire departments coming. The fire departments and they have coming. two 
two items to talk about, which is the recruitment incentives. And, and oh shoot, are they going to give us their budget? Um, I don't know. Oh, what was the other thing? Because I asked them to send it to me. Ahead of <coughs> was time. it something about an exemption for? No, that's the incentive. No, that's the, the incentive. that's the incentive. Yeah. We're calling it a something else, so. incentive, but there's something else, and I didn't put it on here, but I will look back in my email. You and Stephanie are ready on Calisero Standards History. I think we're close. Yeah. Um, we. I, I don't just, know if we're going to have time to do all this on the talk. Well, we'll. We may have time to hit the highlights on that one, which may be what we need right now. Right. Stephanie's email said that that's that she's. So then um, appointments, I'm just keeping here always. We're working through some of those. I'm going to cross off install installation of speech science because we just got an update on that. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, use of American Rescue Plan funds for traffic calming road design. Next steps. Right. Did so we kind of already do that tonight? We, we did that tonight, and I made a note of 30000 Yep. OK. Not, not to distract, but I do we have to warn, uh, other than a select board meeting, is there a prescribed warning period for a If it's an ordinance. Ordinance. It is an ordinance. Yeah, there's a whole thing. Yeah, there's a whole, a whole thing. We can, we can, so, we warn it, we can make the change, and then... So we'll warn at the, the December 12th meeting. Right. Make the change, and then... We'll and then, and you could, could you let me finish talking? That you have 45 days, 45. the public has 45 days to petition to not have the ordinance go through. Okay, okay. So you which is always doing. backwards. Yeah, okay, cool. So, all right. So I just have to get you to line. Okay, got it, got it. I require that people eat chocolate. Um, and then future agenda items. So this carries us into December 19th. Mm -hmm. I have to reach out to Jan. I haven't heard from her anymore about um, the zoning regulation changes. Curb cut is that's so I want to keep it I want to keep carrying it but it's I don't imagine it happening but something else will come up we I was gonna say there's gonna be stuff that come up especially with budget right. season and the warning yeah there's gonna be stuff that's gonna come up and hopefully as people start to realize that we're starting to talk about ARPA funds putting it on the warning mm -hmm. and some of the other things for town meeting we, we may mm -hmm. start hearing from people um, okay so can I ask you guys a really quick question yeah and there's something that's actually important. In, in our longer hall, and that is about, do we have any ordinances that, that restrict upland properties, you know, from draining to dumping excess amounts of water into our road ditches? You know, because it, that's a major problem of major erosion. You have to over-armor your ditches if you dump water, and they, sometimes you can't fix the problem. Once How is this water go there? Well, people who like to drain properties, not just their drives, um, but they drain the under property. Drains. And it ends, yeah, under drains are just swales, but it drops it, you know, thank you. It drops it into our road ditches, I mean our road ditches mm -hmm. at high elevation, up, an upland, and then all of a sudden you've got a huge Did volume you know, of water that you've got to transport to the bottom of the hill, and you can't do it. You know, you, you, this has been a problem in towns like uh, Lincoln. Have you got that going on here? Well, I don't know yet, but I was curious. I'm only asking to know if, we, if you know of any ordinances. And I've got to really read through it carefully, see exactly what we got. If we don't, we may want to look at that. Because this, as development happens, this, this can be a, something that really bites you in the backside. Mm. These are very hard problems to fix and very expensive. Were you saying so, that should be I don't think we have an ordinance like that. Can we should be good at zoning. We, we can, I think. Right. Uh, I, I have a uh, good create zoning. ordinance policy requested section. What would that be called, Rick? That would be, um, uh, I would say, uh, drainage. Just call it for drainage. Drainage. Property right. property drainage into property roadway drainage ditches. Into, into roadway, roadway ditches. Yeah. Because um, the way you do is they have to be. When they they have to, they need to be forced to. If they want to drain their property. They have to keep it in sheet flow off of the right of way. Okay. So okay. Are we? I'm going to put this as a uh, under the ordinance create ordinance and policy section here. Okay. So yeah. we're ready to adjourn. Yep. Do we need to go into executive session for anything? No. I don't 
think we do. All right, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. In favor, please say aye. 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 Good.